greetings from Centre Parks, by the way. That's, uh, that's the background. I hope you're all well. This is just ridiculous, though, isn't it? Oh, are you fucking having me on? Are you joking me right now? That's how deep that... This is how far they reach. Let me smoke that for you, Siri Merchant, yeah? Let me smoke that for you, Ted Lasso Bowley, yeah? You think you can fool us? You're a long way from Starbucks, mate. Hollywood, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Let's have it right. Far we fallen, bruv. We are a calamity, bruv. Because why? It's the, the beachhead, bruv. It's the streamline. Let's get Kindergarten FC full flow. Let's make sure we buy all these young kids from different continents. Beachhead Chelsea, let's streamline. Let's, let's take over the Modi Clubs model. Let's implement Red Bull, Brighton FC, Seagull Merchants. We love them. Absolutely fantastic. Really profitable. That's what we're going to do. Uh, Chelsea Football Club, because we we were, it's irrelevant that they're an elite football club. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant that they're the biggest club in London. It's irrelevant. We don't care. Why don't we care? Because we're going to implement our multi-club, multi-pound note, pound note infrastructure. Yeah. And we're going to collaborate. We're going to collaborate with all the wrongings in the game. We're going to listen to everyone else except the supporters at Chelsea. We're going to go with an unproven blueprint because we all know well that the blueprint's blue like Chelsea, but uh, we're going to implement our clear like blue blueprint uh, because we come from the United States of America and we're going to land it. We're going to land. What does Johnny Minerals say? He says land the minerals, is it? We're going to land the minerals. You ain't land no minerals, bruv. You're landing fraudulent minerals at Chelsea, yeah? Because you're frauds, your money ball and all this jazz. It's destroyed us. It's fucking gutted us out, bruv. We're completely gutted out our football club. We've got nothing left, man. We've got no fighting spirit. We've got no experience. We've got nothing. We've got no elite nothing, bruv. Everything's getting cut out of this football club, man. Every single thing's been cut out. Do you understand me? Yeah. You had to you had to push the envelope out to, to get to that point. It's not just gonna come. Not every single one's gonna hit like that. You know, sometimes it's gonna be like that, that, that one that wasn't that one wasn't for me. But you know, it's part of the game. It's part of the game. I I like to see the envelope pushed out. That's what I like to see. I work 20 hours per fucking day and I don't accept that someone goes on Twitter with no face, with no name, just joking with myself and saying this kind of shit. This is not Chelsea! This is not Chelsea! This is not Chelsea! This is not Chelsea. So it right up the Chelsea, up the Minnows FC. Big up to every single one of you live and locked in. Hope everyone's doing well, winning and all that in life. In life, because we ain't winning nothing. But big up to everyone. First and foremost, I want every single one of you to smash to pieces that like button. If you haven't hit that like button, then get out. Don't even watch. Don't even bother. Common courtesy, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed as well, make sure you do subscribe to Minnows FC. Respect to everyone. And let's have it right. I want to celebrate, bub. Do you know why I want to celebrate? Because we hit 10K on the Minnows FC. Monumental, yeah? We have landed courageous minerals. Constant, true narratives. We've been landing since day one, ever since we entered the YouTube game. And we're the only platform that has been speaking the truth all the way through. We don't lie. We don't take brown envelopes. We ain't into all that nonsense, bub. Because we love our football club. All our, we got, all we have is our love for Chelsea. We don't sacrifice that for nothing, yeah? We keep our standards where they should be, through the roof. And we do whatever it takes to protect and defend what's right for our football club. We don't, we ain't bought, we'll never be bought on this channel. Someone said, oh, I hope you don't sell out, Johnny. Are you winding me up, fella? Me, sell out. You're a long way from Starbucks. You're a long way from that super grandma. 
it's absolutely blasphemous that you've even said that and put that comment in there. You should go back to the, the stream and delete that comment, yeah? Because everyone knows what I'm about. Every single one of you knows what I'm about. There's no sugar coating. There's no hiding. I'm always here. I'm always landing it 24-7, yeah? So, everything we do is because we love our club and we love football, the beautiful game. And right now, everything that's going on is an absolute shambles. And I can't even celebrate 10K. So I want to thank every single one of you Minnows FC Ultras, every single subscriber out there who ain't bought, they're here because they want to be here. They subscribe because they want to subscribe. I don't mix with elephant walk circles. I don't mix with wrong ones. I don't mix with brown envelopes. I am a self-made minerals general, bruv. And everything I have done on this channel is myself and my Minerals FC Ultras. And us together, we will continue to fight the good fight and land it 24-7. So salute to every single one of you. Love to every single one of you. And we're going to land the damn minerals tonight. Tonight, we are going to say it as we always say it and speak the truth. But before we do that, smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Ding dong, let's have it right. All that jazz so you know when we go live. Because how many times we've been cancelled on the Minerals FC with the brand envelopes trying to report us and, and get a shadow ban 24-7. But we're still here. We're still landing it. But do hit the, the notification button. You know, I give it a go. Give it a whirl. Um, also, we've got the Minerals FC Ultras membership down below in the description. And the extra channel as well, Minerals FC extra channel. And we've got Rumble down there as well. And we're going to go Rumble as well. We're going to take over everywhere, bro. All right? But make sure you do all that. Respect to everyone. And we're going to go on the road to 100K. Forget all this nonsense, 15K, 20 No, let's just go 100K, bro. Yeah? That's where we're going. That's where we're heading. We ain't big like we were under Roman Barrage for the holy grail of trophies, Champions League. Competing at the highest level. That's what we aim. That's our standards. And that applies to everything in life. Anything you do in life, you don't have these clown-like standards. Because you ain't going nowhere. You have the elite mentality, elite minerals, and you go to the top. And you fight non-stop. And you don't give up. Every knockback, it makes you stronger and you get up. Just like the old Rocky. Adrian, Adrian. Let's have it right. Swing like Mike Tyson, man. Bite ears off if you have to. You do what's necessary. So, big up to everyone in here. Respect to everyone. I'm going to quickly run for a few of these, and we're going to land it, bruv. Uh, big up to Brian. He says, actually, before I do that, before I do that, absolutely disgraceful, bruv. Absolutely disgraceful. Before we do anything, let's have it right, yeah? We see things they'll never see. Let's have it right. Shout out Chelsea old boys. Chelsea Ultra, Minnows FC Ultra, long live Chelsea old boys. Let's have it right. So, put all your, all the Minnows FC Ultra members, mate. You got the Chelsea old boys sticker in there. You got the We See Things They'll Never See sticker in there to mud all the rivals, all the London clubs. Yeah, they're giving it a big and they're, they're, they're enjoying our capitulation. But let's just remind them who the daddy is in London. All right, first and foremost. But respect to everyone. Big up to Brian. He says, Thiago's the issue in defence. Heart, pathetic fans. We're going to land it on that. I'll tell you that now. Uh, mud everyone, Johnny. Up the Chelsea, up the Minnows FC. Uh, long live Chelsea old boys. Big up the Chelsea Empire. He says, Clown Lake destroyed the history of Ch Chelsea Football Club. I've never been so detached in all my time supporting this club through three owners. You know what it is. I don't want to swear, bruv. I mean, I, I, I'm going to hold it in. Let's see if we can go for a whole stream and not swearing. Yeah. Um, F you, all toxic positives. Chelsea fans, for the love of God, wake up. Let's have it right. Uh, big up the fantasy. Uh, fantasy Piga Tour. Becoming a Minnows FC Ultra member. Respect and love to you, my geezer. Uh, big up the Adam Cases. Hi, Johnny. I used to be a Minnows FC hater. But over time, you've won me over with just being a real guy and being honest. 
Clown Lake out up the Minnows FC. Big up to you. It takes a man, all right. It takes a man to 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 admit that I'm right. You know what I'm saying? Because I what I speak and what I say, I don't do it for clicks, mate. I'm not that guy. You can go to all the other YouTube channels. You can go to all the other Twitter accounts. Trust the process. Oh, we're, we're, we're cooking. We're cooking. we got a 10 out of 10 window. We love you, Bowley. We love you, Bowley. Sell our entire Champions League winning team. Yeah, I ain't that fella. I've never been that fella. And I never will be that fella. I'm the realist geezer. And I'm a realist. And I know football. I've watched it long enough. And I know Chelsea, and I watched Chelsea long enough, and I know this is not Chelsea. So big up to you, my geezer, and welcome aboard, my man. Welcome aboard. Anyone, just welcome aboard on the Minnows FC gravy train. It's been long overdue. You know what I'm saying? Get in here. Get in the chat. Land the damn minerals. You know what I'm saying? So all the haters can drink them in. Because all you haters, do you know what they used to come and call me? They used to call me toxic. Oh, go and have a rant on YouTube. Go and have a rant on a Twitter space, man, on my own, bruv. I've had five, six K listening to me, yeah, on Twitter spaces, mudding anything or anyone, yeah, because I do it for a reason. I do it to speak the truth, to get the true narrative out there, because it's not pushed out enough, because we've got all these burning envelopes, throwing about all this nonsense, all this toxic positivity, all this PR, all this bangers and mash waffle, no onions, no gravy, lumpy hard mash, no lurpa. Not one slice of Lurpak to melt on that lumpy hard mash. Do you understand me? No butter, no mustard, no gravy. Dry as you like. That's Fabrizio Romano, 20 hours a day merchant. That's the Pornstein daggers. Ooh, look at me, I'm Pornstein. I'm going on Sky Sports and I'm going to I'm gonna prop Clown Lake. Oh, what we got is our Kinsella from United. Yeah. Oh, it's not a great result, is it, Johnny? No, it's not a great result. No, it's not. We've got the Toothpick Jacobs. Well, yes, um, Potter's not going to get sacked. He's going to be here for a long time. He's not got, you know, just like Pornstein said, you know, he's not got months. He's got years. He's one of the best managers in the world. Yes, Potter, two days later, gets sacked. You're in the mud. You're in the bin. Toothpick Jacobs, blacklisted from the BBC. Fraudulent minerals. Absolutely fraudulent. Yeah? What about all these Twitter accounts? Should we name them, shame them all, bruv? Con CFC. Yeah? Oh, oh, it's potch out. Oh, it's potch out. Oh, what? We're only now going to tweet out, you know, um, if you don't want to win with our club, then, you know, sell the club. Oh, man. Everyone. CFC, what's his name? Dub Chelsea Dodgers, man. Pies and mash, you copy and paste merchants, bruv. All of you lot. Yeah? Look at the state of you. Tom Overs, I'm going on to DR Sports and I'm going to talk about Chelsea. Yeah! I'm going to talk about Chelsea. I'm going to go on the BBC. Oh, Johnny, how can you make a thumbnail like that? De depicting the owners like clowns. Trust the process, guys. Trust the process. Get in the bin. Get in the woods, you little brown envelope minion. What about the score? Should we bring him up? What score, bruv? You're scoring blanks. You're firing blanks like the fraudulent counterfeit Michael Jackson up front. And he can't even shoot with slosh pot wet. And this one's a bucket, bruv. I mean, how can you miss? Do you know what I'm saying? All right? Let's cook them all, bruv. Listen, get your aprons on. Get your aprons on. Let's cook them all, mate. Every single one of them, bruv. Yeah? Slosh pot wet. Get in the bin. All this OnlyFans nonsense. All you OnlyFans, you slosh pots, you embarrassment. What does your mum and dad say? What is going on? It's embarrassing, man. And doing it at the expense of football clubs? Let's land it for what it is, mate. You know what I'm saying? I can't stand if you're showing your little footsies or your little hands. Um, or, oh, you know, I'm just going to wear a bra and do a little move, a little dance, a little TikTok. Oh, great. Wonderful. That's fine. No, let's get it all off. Let's just give it all for free for the pound note. Sellouts. Sellouts. Sellouts for money, bruv. Sellout for pound note. 
just like all these Twitter accounts, sell outs for the plan, no, well, sell outs for the circle, and the connections. What are the WhatsApp groups chats going like? WhatsApp group circles must be, wow, they must be going around like the London Eye, bruv. 100 mile an hour at this way. These lot are flying off them. Brown envelopes are flying all over the gaff, bruv. There's nothing in them anymore. There's nothing in these brown envelopes no more. Let's cook them all. CFC mod. What a fraud this guy is. CFC Dubois. They're all CFCs, are they? Are we all proper Chelsea, are we? Milking, milking on Twitter. Your little blue tick merchants, your little verified, I will pay uh, $12.99 to get a blue tick. Um, oh, and then I'll get some little emojis next to it to show that I'm some sort of elite Twitter platform. You wrong and bruv. You don't say it for what it is. You're liars. You're fagazies, bruv. You're fagazies. It's Donny Bresco all over again, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? Al Pacino's sitting there and you've got Johnny Minerals Depp going, no, that's a fagazi, bro. It's a fagazi. An informant. Infiltrate the mafia. That's what we do. We infiltrate the wrong uns in the circle that is destroying Chelsea Football Club. That's what we do. And all you wrong uns watching, make sure you watch and you watch good. Go to Spec Savers because I don't know what you've been watching with Chelsea, yeah? Popping all this toxic positivity and all this oh, they're going to come good and we need time and, and bed them in and all this nonsense, bruv. Yeah, mate, I don't know, man. You must be like brains, bruv, from, uh, what's it called? Thunderbirds, thick. You know what I'm saying? Forget double glazing. This is quadruple glazing, bruv, that you're looking through. Distorted vision, mate. Yeah, every single one of you distorted, bruv. Gone, finished. Yeah, just like Chelsea's right now, capitulated. In the mud, in the gutter. You know what I'm saying? Swimming with the rats. That have been, they've been poisoned by the Minerals FC. Let's have it right, because that's what we do. We get rid of the rats. We call them all out. Let's continue, bruv. Let's keep going. What other accounts can we put in there? What other accounts? Matisse, let's bring up the librarian. <laughs> Lovely platforms. Goes on all the platforms. Da, 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 da. Dancing, tap dancing all over the gaff. You know, these lot like, these like, love to move around with different circles and that. Say it for what it is. Eunice lands it, bruv. Eunice is bigger than all of you lot. He's landed damn minerals. Why can't Eunice land it? Why can't he land it? Of course he lands it. Because he can see. He knows. And he ain't bought. Let's have it right. So all you wrong I've tagged you all on Twitter. Chelsea Dodgers, Con, Pies and Mash, uh, Tom Overs, George Benson, who's admitted. Georgie Benson, five things to know about Chelsea. Five things to know about this. Five things to know how to grow uh, weeds in your garden. Um, but no five things how to get rid of the weeds it's at Chelsea Football Club. No, it's too negative. Um, we can't put negativity out because the club won't allow it. Of course they won't. So why don't you get on it? Why doesn't everyone get on it? All of you lot. What about Rory? Failed out to Jennings. He's on the talk sport. Yeah, flicking his hair like he's Kylie Minogue. Reincarnated as a man. You know what I'm saying? All right. What's he doing? Tap dancing as well in the TalkSport studio, the Talk Shite studio. What are we doing here? What about Lewis? How's Lewis getting on? And Chelsea Fan TV, are they going to land it? Would you want to wait? Do you want to go further in the mud? Or are we going to go, no, we're just going to drink ourselves into intoxication? Yeah, great. Well done. So we can't have you in a fit state and speak some truth. No, that's no good to us. That's a, that's a load of waffle, bruv. What about, who else? Who else? All you guys. All you guys that go on platforms. Let's have it right. You'll come at me. You'll give it big into me. You call me toxic, negative. I'm an agenda merchant. I'll go and rant on this, go and rant on that. Do you know why I do it? Do you know why? Because I'm right. Because I speak the truth. I ain't here for clicks. I ain't here to get in the payroll under Chelsea Football Club. I'm here to support my football club. And you lot have been supporting these clown lakes for the, oh, since they walked through the door. Now give them time. All right. How long do you want to go? How long do you want to go? It's not the Rolexes you're getting out. You're getting out your Casio watches. No disrespect Casio. Digital and all that. Because these lot think they're in the Matrix as well. They must be. They think they're playing Neo. They've got the main character syndrome. We're the biggest platforms. And we dictate the narrative. You don't dictate shit. Yeah? You don't dictate nothing. And let's have it right. I'm on 10K now. And it's only going to go bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah? You'll be in the gym doing steps like this. Sweating like mad. Sweating. Sweating, yeah. You're all in the you you get on the cross trainer, move your arms as well, man. Feel like you're boxing or something, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because no one's swinging at me, mate. No one can come close to me. 
yeah? Untouchable minerals. Let's have it right. All the proper chels know exactly what they're witnessing. They know exactly what they're seeing. Do you understand me? I'm fully prepared. I'm armoured up, bruv. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm armoured up. I ain't got a problem. I foresaw this. It wasn't even a prediction, bruv. When you know how football is and you know what the model is. These are stating the facts. You're only all witnessing it now. And you lot think you can come to the table and sit around this table and you negotiate. I am the table. I am the table. Yeah? You don't negotiate and ask people to put things on the table when I am the table. Yeah? So let's have it right. Get on the Minnows FC gravy train. Start speaking the truth. Don't discredit stickers. Don't discredit the Chelsea Supporters Trust. Don't discredit the true supporters that are fighting for our football club. Yeah? You wrong uns. Yeah? You support it. Because it's the right thing to do, mate. Yeah? It's the right thing to do. Enough's enough. Enough's enough. Enough's enough. Today, today is an absolute disgrace. Today's a disgrace. And do you know what wound me up? Last night, I was even going to go and do a stream. Last night, you got the mouthpiece of Clown Lake, the meatloaf bowley. I would do anything for pound notes and experience. We ain't buying that. Yeah. And you got, uh, what's his name? Siri Merchant with his Birkin bags. Yeah. We got a Siri Merchant as a Teletubby for all the Minnows FC Ultras that got stickers. Make sure you put that in the chat. Make sure you put that in the chat. Let all the wrong and see it. Let them see it. Embarrass that Siri merchant, yeah? Embarrass that Siri merchant, all right? This guy, yeah? And then they go, you yeah, get the fan advisory board, you know? Don't worry about a thing, because every little thing's going to be all right, yeah. We got Streamline, Beachhead, all to maximize profitability. Yeah, of course we have. See, it's me, Lo Foley, Siri merchant. We love them. We love you, Foley. We love you, Bowley. Oh, you're in our Twitter space. We love you. White like it weren't orchestrated. Don't make me laugh. Yeah, just like the nonsense at 11 p.m. last night that was orchestrated to come out by Pochettino, the mouthpiece, the absolute yes man, jellyfish, no backbone, no minerals, bottle Tino. Yeah, this guy, yeah, all right, that you brought ex Spursy. He's proper Spursy. Yeah, he's proper Spursy. Yeah, give him all the time in the world, mate. Yeah, this guy, all right, comes out and says, the data tells us we should be in the Champions League spots. Oh, you're winding me up. Is this a wind-up? Is this an absolute wind-up? Yeah, the data says we've built a 100-point team. What date is that? What date is that? AI scouting? AI data? What data? It's like they think they're in the Matrix. It's Agent Smith's that have just infiltrated Chelsea Football Club. And these ones ain't like trying to take you out of the game. These ones are taking you out of the game, not in a physical way, with brown envelopes and PR. And these PR Happy Meals that are flying about is a, is a bigger franchise than McDonald's in its entirety, bro. Yeah? So have it right. All right? So have it right. He comes out and tells us we're building, we've, we should be in the top four with this team and the injuries. What injuries? What injuries? Fafana out all season. And Kunku's basically out all season. <sighs> yeah, not one balloon we've seen since this guy signed for Chelsea Football Club. And he's going to be the saviour. And he was meant to be back in January during the transfer window. How did that go? Yeah, how did it go? Right? Roman Osman learned the minerals. They didn't like it, so they got the French, French journos to, to try and mud him. But Roman Osman comparing Jackson, Jackson, Sloshpot Jackson, to Thierry Henry is, is just absolutely outrageous. It's criminal. It's criminal how these brown envelopes are propping these players to be like superstars. My word, man. This guy, this guy is like Torvald Dean on some sort of crystal meth, yeah? Torvald Dean, as you know, ice skaters, one of the best in the game. These guys, this guy, Jackson, he's like them, gone wrong. You understand me? Um, Non-elite, 
non-elite, never be. To, to basically say he's like Thierry Henry and can be like Thierry Henry, I don't want to hear that nonsense. It's criminal. It's absolutely disgusting, bro. All right? So, you get all this nonsense come out. And he says, you know, the fans, you know, we need the support and this is a project and, and we're getting closer and we're going to, you know, the pro this is a project at Chelsea. They said, shove your project where the sun does not shine because I'm not interested in your project, mate. Your project and the Clown Lake project is a, a failure. Yeah. Just like Pochettino's career in England, a failure. Yeah. An absolute failure and who's the ones propping this ben toothpick jacobs pies and mash recycles what he says now i have to do this because this is this is the the introduction to what actually happens today so last night last night you know why do they bring it out at 11 p.m because they think what minerals fc sleeping bruv you think we're sleeping bruv we just hit 10k last night we ain't sleeping bruv we're like pink in the brain yeah, we're ready to take over, bruv. You understand me? Um, so what does he say? He says, Pozzino revealed he and his team know why there are so many injuries, but refuse to comment further. We know why we have so many injuries, but we cannot explain it. Well, please do explain it, because as we all know, last year you sacked our, these clowns sacked our entire medical team, brought back the main doctor. That's still not salvaged it. Um, and what are these rehabilitation programs that you're throwing them, bruv? What is it? What is it? How to turn into the fly, pretend you're Jeff Goldblum and uh, just have limbs falling off uh, and then go again. What is it? What are you trying to do, bro? All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. So they don't want to be honest, just like the Meatloaf Bowling Siri Merchant don't want to speak out to the Chelsea Supporters Trust. Instead, they sent the corrupted fan advisory board to tell us every little thing's going to be all right and play that before the game. Nice one. Um, so it moves on to say, and by the way, that came from a geezer called Manzi Bobby with 2,000 followers. Unknown. Little brown envelope wannabe. Where's he come out from? What woodwork has he crept up under from? Yeah? What is, is it because none of the tier ones want to prop it? They don't want to go near it? They're scared? Well, let's see what they prop out today. Um, he also comes out and says, the data is good, reflects the team is doing well, and it shows that we should trust the process. Trust in the process is the most important thing. What process? What? To go back to back, mid-table? What process, mate? The process is the biggest myth and lie going. This is the clown lakes using Pochettino's a yes man, NDI back to his eyeballs, right? This guy's literally in the exorcist, bruv, levitating off the bed with the amount of NDAs he signed. All right, that he can't, and he's been controlled by the clown lake wrongens. Yeah, we know really well what we're, we're doing. That's why I talk, uh, that's why I laugh when the fans say, You don't know what you're doing. We're going to be strong, we want to be successful here. Oh, we want, we need to, we want to. This is Chelsea. Um, yeah, we've won this, we've won that. Uh, they've been the most successful club. Yeah, let's not forget that. But I think these clowns don't know what that is. These clowns don't understand what it is. Yeah? Because they don't care. They're not interested in, in what in us winning, bruv. All they're interested in is the pound note and making a profitable model. Everything they've done tells you that. And they will make money on these players. Believe it or not, they will. Because you've got all the defo contracts. You need a yes man in charge. So you've got Jellyfish Potter. Perfect yes, man. But that's not going to last too long. And these clowns are still hanging on to this gaffer. He should have been sacked when we lost to Manchester United at Old Trafford. When you had Scott McSauce, the Looney Tune Goofy Fernandez, and the fraudulent, overweight Andrew Tate dominating us like Busquets, Iniesta, and Xavi in the midfield, bruv. And they were in the gutter. So let's see, see how they do tonight against Brentford. Maybe Minnell's Mount's going to come back. And I swear, Dan, he better not land it. Because if he does, I'm coming for all you wrong'uns. You understand me? All right? What else? What else did they say? What else did they say? Today's data shows we should be in the top four in the league table. Well, you ain't. You ain't in the top four. You're sitting 11th. It's the road to 40 points again. So what process are we trusting here? Not even Arsenal, Lego Ed Merchant, in the, all the years of their failure, 
of trusting this process? Have they ever been in this position? Do you know why? Because they're not run by clowns. They're run by wrong uns, the Cronkies. Let's have it right. Man United are run by the Glazers. And do you know what? Who came out yesterday? Who came out yesterday? No, Mike. Was it Mike Coogan? Let me land it on this fella. Let me land it on this fella. I want to call out the journo. Let's call him out right now. Let's call him out right now. It was today, in fact, before the game. Let me say, let me tell you. Let me tell you it is. Yeah? Let me tell you it is. This is disgraceful, brother. Yeah? Uh, where's his name, mate? Mike Keegan. He says, the Chelsea ownership group admit to making mistakes. But the fact remains that they have spent one billion of their own money. This is this is Roman's money, mate. Yeah, I'm telling you. This is not the Glazers. No dividends have been taken. No buyout leverage leveraged against the club. They are worse than the Glazers. All right. They've got a Glazer clause, but you've got Meatloaf Bowie sitting as chairman extracting 20 million from our football club. So explain to me. They might not be taking dividends, but they're milking as an employee at our football club 20 million a year. That's 200 million in 10 years. And in five years, they switch it over and Siri Merchant gets on the bandwagon. You know what I'm saying? They're riding bulls, bruv. Yeah? They're riding cowboys. Like they think they're in Hollywood, mate. Yeah? Or in the wild, wild west. No. You're in West London. SW6. You don't know where you are. You don't care where you are. You don't even know what the sport is. You don't even know what the game is. You just spunked one billion. And what have we got to show for it? Absolute joke. Absolute joke. It's just an embarrassment. Yeah? And I blame all you Twitter accounts, all you YouTube platforms, all of you with agendas, agendas on the, the Champions League winning players and team. Look at you now, crying your eyes out. And all of you lot feeding this toxic positivity and all this trust the process, feeding the PR mouthpiece and money train for this kindergarten FC, Epstein FC model that these clans have implemented. Do you know what? Well done. You've turned us into Brighton. You've turned us seagull merchants because we're level on points with the seagull merchants now. No, we're not. Actually, we're not. That was when we were winning. That's when we were winning. What are we now? Let's remind everyone. Let's remind everyone where we were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course we're going to do that. Why would we not? Why would we not? No, we're not. No, we're not. What a shame. We're two points off Brighton. So Brighton are better than us at this moment in time. Brighton are better than us. And do you know what they say? All this, this Dean fella on Twitter, biggest melt going, bruv. Oh, I know it's one game and it wasn't acceptable, but you know, guys, we've got two games in hand. We've got so much. Who's our two games in hand? Spursy at home, who are above us with a fit squad, and Arsenal, who are in a title race. Yeah? There are two games in hand, mate. Yeah? We can't even be a 10 bur 10 man Burnley at home. And you lot, propping this. Going, we could get Champions League. We can get Europa League spaces. We're not getting out of mid-table, you wrong -uns. Do you not understand it? Do you not get it? Have you not woken up yet? Or you want to just sit there and let us just fall in the gut of fair father and I've got all these fucking rivals. And all these rivals are giving it. All these rivals are giving it. How oh, long may live. You know what? Rival fans are calling out. Calling out to supporters and platforms going, you're blaming Poch. You want Poch out. It's beyond Poch, mate. It's a structure. Do you know what? I tweeted today. Poch out. Paul Carrying when Stanley out. Stuart Little out. Todd Milo Foley out. Siri Merchant Clown Lake out. Yeah? Retweet that. Push it out. And I added them. So, yeah, block me, report me, just like you report Stevie Chelsea land the damn minerals. You report accounts. Well, try and report me because I'll know once I'm reported and I'm suspended on Twitter, I will come for you and I'll call you out because let's have it right. I've got YouTube. I've got Rumble set up. I've got every platform, every network set up so you can't cancel me. You can't stop me from speaking the truth. You can't zippy me, mate. I zippy your PR happy meals. That's what I do. On the Minerals FC, that's what I do. I call it out. I've been calling out all these wrong ones, all these agenda merchants, all these propaganda merchants. I've been doing them like kippers, bruv. Eating them all day long, bruv. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like I've turned into Luke Shaw, bruv. Fish and chip merchant. I'm just enjoying it, bruv. I'm eating it, man. I'm eating it a la carte, man. Fish and chips on a Friday. Curry on a Saturday. 
We got everything on lock. Sunday roast. That's Christmas dinner on Sunday. Christmas dinner's on Sunday. Save it right. All the gravy, all the Yorkshire puds, all the meat, meatloaf, you name it. Beef Wellington, I've got it all, mate. Everything's on lock. Everything. All right? I don't eat Happy Meals. I don't eat McDonald's. I don't eat Burger King. I don't eat that fast food franchise nonsense. Garbage. Cardboard. Yeah? Cardboard. Yeah? So, well done. Propping all that. Well done. Every single one of you, well done. Because you're part of this. You set this up. You fed agendas. You prop this narrative. And look where we are as a football club. Do you know what the absolute embarrassment of this whole thing right now is? You've got Strasbourg, little Strasbourg, yeah? And I'll tell you what, we're going to drink the minerals in tomorrow, mate, yeah? Little Strasbourg are doing a full-on protest. Maybe these lot ain't gone spec savers. I don't know. Should we put it in Braille for them? I don't know. What what should we do? But have they not read this? Two clubs being destroyed by Blue Cat at the same time. you got the Ultra Boys 90s, yeah? Land the Minerals, the Ultras, there's thousands of them. And they are disgusted, not disgusted, shocked that the Chelsea, we were notorious, bruv. Relentless, we were the biggest firm ever, bruv, yeah? No one messed with Chelsea. Now, look what these clans have brought into our football club. Little prawn eating sandwich merchants. Cole Palmer scores uh, a lovely dink penalty and they, they stand up like they're in the in the opera. Oh, well done. Yeah, well done. Ooh, celebrate, bruv. We land it, man. We should be having passion, bruv. We should have all the Chelsea in there, man, landing it, bruv. They are shocked that we are not protesting. And we're in a worse state than Strasbourg because Strasbourg were always that mid-table club anyway. But they've identified the wrong, the wrongs at the moment of the club. No experience, getting out all the experience, getting rid of bringing in a non-elite gaffer, bringing in all these kids using Chelsea's farm kids and they're farming in Strasbourg. And they've decided to act and they are well organised. And tomorrow is going to be epic. Tomorrow we're going to do a stream and we're going to land it and we're going to expose it. And meet like Bowie, Siri Merchant, Clown Lake, you're sweating. You ain't got no hairs on your nutsack no more. You're hanging on the skin of your nutsack because we've shaved every hair off there for you. There's nothing for you to hang on to anymore. All right? So you're holding on to dear life with skin, bro. All right? And mo soon your fingers are going to get all sweaty and you're just going to drop off. You know what I'm saying? And that's coming tomorrow. Why are the Strasbourg Ultras landed it? Why are we not landing it? Why are we not protesting? Yet people want to come at what the Chelsea Sports Trust have done. Respectfully. Respectfully. Landed it. Ask what, what, where, where are you taking our football club? We don't trust this. We're not trusting this project. You spent one billion, mate. You sacked Elite Gaffer and Thomas Tuchel. You brought us a jellyfish potter on a five-year deal on 12 million a year. He goes down the, down the drain. You have to sack him. He's NDA'd up in a straitjacket, all right? He's still in the Bowley Clown Lake Siri Merchant Asylum, bruv. He can't get out. No one's heard from Jellyfish Potter. No one's heard anything, bruv, all right? This guy's Hannibal Lecter. He's trying to speak, but no one's listening, bruv, all right? Eating for a straw. Then you've got, who's the other one? Frank Lampard, PR stunt. You could have gone and got us. Luis Enrique he was ready to take the Real Madrid game. In a Champions League tie, you got me like Bowley going, hey, we're going to win 3 0. I'm bearing about. Yeah, what a wrong and bruv. What an embarrassment. You've got all the audacity, Meatloaf Bowley and bollocks, to speak in front of Sky Sports before a Champions League away game, all right, where our whole season lays upon it, all right, and you want to give it all the comedian talk because you are, you're a joker, you're a clown, like the whole ownership are clowns, and you want to sit there, but you won't even speak publicly to Chelsea Sports Trust. You'll send the fan advisory board that you lot set up because they're all little jellyfish yes men and they've been voted by the supporters who the supporters trusted to be on it and not even they can do anything. Disgrace, bro. So you do all that. You then spend uh, a further, after 635 million, you spend a further billion, 235 million goes to Seagull Merchants. Well done. Tony Bloom sitting in his mansion, lapping it up. He's doing a Gary, Me Gary Neville. Oh! Oh! I can't believe it. 
we've just banked 235 million. Oh, like a seagull all over Stamford Bridge. All right. And you've told us in the seagull merchants, except a budget version, because we're below the seagull merchants after spending more money than they've ever dreamed of spending. And we're, they've won nothing in the entire history, but let's copy Brighton. Um, then you bring us in. Come on. You got to go. If you're going to go strong, go strong with it. Go, go with the hat trick. You bring the jellyfish potch, ex Spursy gaffer, because you don't care about supporters. You don't care about the, the culture and the heritage at Chelsea. You don't care. Because if you did, you'd know damn well, don't go near Spursy gaffers. Don't go near Spursy. Don't do business. Don't even sell Conor Gallagher at Spurs. You don't do business with Spurs. Now they're breaking that. They're breaking every barrier of what's what we stand for at Chelsea to be able to do whatever they want with their PR. They are the PR machine. And it's working wonders on the supporters. Are you going to wake up? Are you going to wake up? Do you want to wake up? Or do you want to stay in that coma? It's not too many happy days in that coma. You don't. Who wants to be in a coma, mate? No one. No one wants to be in a coma. Get woke. Get woke. You know. So why are we not protesting? It's trust the process, is it? Trust the process. Yeah. Is that what everyone says? Yeah. Or is it not now? You're not trusting the process. It's not trust the process now. Is sack Potch and sell the club if you haven't got good intentions? What? What, what is it now? He's not sack the directors. Keep the directors. No, we don't need one. We need two directors. Yeah, of course we do. No, it's not suck the whole structure. It's the model that's killed Chelsea. The gaffer is the model at Chelsea, not the one in the dugout. They're all on puppet strings, like Simon Jordan, Joe Knighty, you know. Yeah, oh, let me get my dictionary out um, and, and throw about. And hold on a minute, I'll get my thesaurus as well. And we're going to go to town on talk shite. And we're going to call out all the political situations with Roman Abramovich to try and mud him instead of actually comparing football terms with football football owners with football owners. Because Roman Abramovich wipes a floor. Disgraceful that you put an agenda on Roman Abramovich. Absolutely disgraceful. But we don't non we don't tolerate that nonsense. We don't tolerate that nonsense. So drink these minerals in. Roman Abramovich! Roman Abramovich! Roman Abramovich! Roman Abramovich! Roman Abramovich! Absolutely right, mate. Don Roman. Up the Don Roman, mate. All day long. Yeah? That's what we do, bruv. That's what we do. We chant Roman. You know what I'm saying? Deals. Booze today, mate. Oh, end of the game. Booze, mate. It's not looking healthy for the clown lakes. Clown lakes, you clowns. Yeah? And Simon Jordan calling us clowns. You're a disgrace, mate. Bought as you like. Like every platform. Everyone's bought. They bought everyone. They ain't bought me. No one's buying me, mate. Yeah. And funny enough, isn't it, isn't it interesting that I don't speak their narrative, but I'm the one that gets targeted? Get in the bin, mate. Get in the woods, mate. Yeah. Get in the woods. Let's have it right. So, well done. You've spent a billion. We've got a, a shambles of a squad, shambles of an injury record. You've sacked our groundsman, tea lady. You're going to get infiltrate our women's team. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting and unacceptable, bro. Yeah? And for Rizzo Romano and all you guys, all you Pornsteins, you're guilty. In the court of minerals, you're guilty. Let's have it right. Yeah? Let's bang them up. Let's bang them up. Yeah? Let's have it right. Bang them up. Listen, everyone in here, smash the like button. We've got over 500 of you in here. All right? We should have 10K in here. All right? <coughs> smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Let's get to 100K. We're going all the way, bruv. All the way, mate. Yeah, all the way. Big up to all the minerals of sea ultras. We're going to continue to land it. And hopefully, I'm going to get Eunice on as well. And Eunice can land this damn minerals. Because Eunice is the only one landing it, bruv. He's a general, mate. Yeah? Good news as well, landing it as well. He's, he's ready to land it. But Eunice, bruv, let's have it right. Stone Island Eunice, bruv. Respect to him, man. Self-made minerals as well, bruv. Yeah? Let's have it right. Yeah? All this prop. All this pantomime. And we are playing Burnley at home. Steamroll game. They're two places. They're one place. Sorry. Yeah. Two places above relegation or one place above relegation. They're fighting relegation. Put it in simple terms. Yeah. They are fighting relegation. Drink that in. Understand that. Yeah. And we're playing them at home with, a more, with more than enough quality. Because we've had a 10 out of 10 window. And we've got a better team than the Champions League winning team. 
have we? Yeah, have we? Have we? I don't know. I'm asking for a mate. Someone tell me. Um, let me think about this right now. Let me think about this. We go one nil up. This RC handball is it? Yeah, handball cancelled. Uh, we go one nil up. Great penalty, lovely penalty, delightful penalty. Do you know what? I don't even care about the game. There's nothing to talk about the game, right? Let's talk about Thiago Silva being exiled. We've got no centre-backs. You're throwing in Badashile. You've got no Trev Chalaba, no Fafana, no Colwell. They've all got webbed feet. God knows what's going on, bruv, all right? And you don't play Thiago Silva. Let me tell you why. Thiago Silva's been exiled. Because what? Bell Silva says the truth and they asked her to take the tweets down. Respect Bell Silva, proper Chels. Loves the club. Thiago Silva, proper Chels. Wants to say because his kids are in the academy growing up because they're going to be ballers, bruv. Yeah? And he wants to stay in London. Wants to... No, his contract's coming to an end, but he's going to get his coaching badge to stay at Chelsea and he wants to work through the club. They don't want to know nothing. Unless you sign an NDA before you leave, we are not playing you. Pochettino, you yes man, jellyfish, disgrace. We needed, everyone goes, oh, without Thiago Silva, we're miles better in defence, are we? <laughs> One nil up against Burnley. They get a man sent off when it shouldn't have been a, 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 a double yellow. Shouldn't have even been a penalty because that was just like Mudrick. The ball was behind him anyway. But we'll take it. Cole Palmer thinks it lovely. Fantastic. Great. One nil up. They get a man sent off. Not only that, the light pole... Light bulb head company screaming on that touchline while Pochettino's going, oh, oh, oh. very Spursy like, you know, very Spursy like he's in the birdcage or something. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's seen that movie. Um, so um, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. He's landing down minerals, he gets sent off. So they're 10 men, 10 men, one man down, and gaffer down. And then on top of that, we go in the second half. Team talk must have been, put your feet up, kids. Um, let's get the uh, the milk bottles in. Uh, let's get some pampers in, just in case you shit your pants. Um, you come out at half time and they score a screamer with 10 men. All right? A screamer. 1-1. One, one. Then we go 2-1 two, two, up. I oh, just can't, man. I can't do this, bro. There's nothing to talk about football. The bottom line is this, mate. Yeah? We bottled winning against 10 men Burnley fighting relegation. It's the worst game, worst result after all the money spent, after all the time they've had. This is worse than Southampton, 1-0 at home under Jellyfish Potter, where I said this is not Chels. Right? It's still not Chels. But this is unacceptable. This is a disgrace. This is a joke. I can't believe, I can believe it. Of course I can believe it. I told you it's going to happen. You know what I mean? Or am I doubting myself? Absolutely not, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely not. Let me see. Let me see now. What are we saying, guys, in the chat? What are we saying in the chat? What are we doing here? You know, I don't care about replies, bruv. I don't care about... What's he calling me out, bruv? Let's go on it now. What's the point in talking about football these days, bruv? Where's he calling me out, this little melt? I have voiced myself privately on several occasions and tweeted plenty of things, times about how I do not trust the sporting directors and the PR that comes out. If I was bought, would it not be the complete opposite? No one could ever buy me. I am myself a passionate fan. All right, then. Go on, then. Tweet them out, mate. Tweet them out. Tweet them out. Call them out. At them and call them out then. If you're such big bollocks, Maxi Pies and Mash, call them out. Do what I did. Tag every director, every owner, work that sticker on there and you do it. Don't retweet me. You do it. If you're such big bollocks and you ain't bought, go on then. I'm calling you out. Why don't you do it, CFC Daily? Come on. Everyone. Tory Jennings, bruv. Everyone. George Benson, all you big accounts, do what I did. You ain't got the minerals to do it. So I don't buy your nonsense. You're wafflers. You're liars. 
You ain't Chelsea. If you're Chelsea, you do it. I know CFC Daly goes to the games and I give him that, bruv. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to come at him like that because he supports he supports the club. The bottom line is this. It's gone beyond that now. It's gone beyond it. This is We are finished. We are dead and buried. Our club has been killed, destroyed. This is beyond repair right now. We need someone to come in and ownership and, and take over, all right? And clean up this mess. Someone with a, an influx of money, bro. Do you understand me? This is how much damage they put upon us. They ain't got no more money to spend. They ain't no top players. No top players want to come to our football club. Everyone behind the scenes knows it's a state. Jose Mino said, I don't look at stats. Stats is for people that don't understand football. I look with eye tests and performances. That's what we look at. These clown lakes, Siri Merchant and Meatloaf Bowley, it's all data. Data FC. Trying to mud Roman, it wasn't run properly. Well, how's that going for you? Well done. So let's have it right. You got the message. You're watching. You go and tweet it out at these wrong uns that are at our football club. And let's see if you do it. And if you do it, well done. You get a pat on the back from the Minerals FC, right? But if you don't, then I don't want to hear your nonsense little quote tweets, bruv. I'm not interested, bruv, yeah? Because I can say I ain't bought. Because I ain't bought. Waffle merchants, bruv. Waffle merchants, bruv, yeah? Absolute waffle merchants, mate, yeah? It's time to land it for what it is. Everyone's got to speak up now. What? What's wrong with you lot? What's wrong? Oh, I'm dejected. I'm tired. I'm depressed. We'll do something about it. You lot got platforms, so stop talking and walk the walk. I've been doing it for over a year and you lot been coming at me, blocking me, trying to cancel me and look at me now. I'm on top of you, bro. Facts. R.I.P. to Claude. Lovely guy. Got cancelled by that fraudulent Robbie that milks anyone for a pound note, bro. All right? Got cancelled by him. Claude loved Arsenal, loved his football club, loved talking about football. That's all he had, bruv. That's all he had. His family left him, bruv. So have it right. And Robbie's done a P. Diddy, bruv. So have it right. So now, here we are. And Claude, shout out to him, bruv. It's time to go. Clown Lake, it's time to go. Yeah. It's time to go. It's time to get out. It's time to get out. I've been crying out, screaming out, change the model. That's all you got to do. Change the model. Yeah. So let me just let me just get Eunice on board. I don't even know what time it is, bruv. Let me get Eunice on board, bruv. Yeah. Guys, smash that like button. Smash that like button. I'm on stream. I ain't got time to read these nonsense tweets, bruv. Yeah. I ain't got time for this nonsense. Yeah. People trying to cancel me, bruv. You're having a laugh, mate. You're having a laugh, mate. Why is it not doing it, bruv? Here it is. Every single one of you smash that like button. Every single one of you smash that like button. You understand me? And let's get on the road to 10K, bruv. Well, we're on 10K. What am I talking about? Let's get on the road, bruv. Let's keep landing it. All right. Link is sent. I've sent it to your Twitter, Eunice. I don't know if he's there, bruv. Let's get Eunice to land some damn minerals. Everything is a shambles at Chelsea. Top to bottom is rotted. It's the model. It's these owners. And I want to hear it from everyone. You blame gaffers. You blame players. I'm not even going to blame players, they're not at the level that and they shouldn't be playing for Chelsea. You've got a Cole Palmer at 21 years old, showing more levels than any player in this pitch. We've got Thiago Silva, who's world-class, being exiled because he won't sign the NDA. And we're not going to see that GOAT play for Chelsea Football Club in a Chelsea shirt again. He's a disgrace, all right? We've got no quality. We've got no minerals. We've got no leaders. We've got no Chelsea DNA. Everything's been stripped out, all right? Because who? What did they do? They brought in mid-directors. They brought in these gaffers. They brought these players. They used this data, this AI scouting that 
you know what's funny? Oh, my days, how can I not even say? We drew the AI derby with the relegation Burnley, who used the same AI scouting as the MLS, as these clowns have used for Chelsea. How about that? We've hit the lowest of lows, bro. These are breaking records everywhere, mate. Yeah, these records are getting broken 24-7. 24-7. Yeah? All the records are all for the wrong reasons. And yet, don't be negative. Be positive. Yeah, be positive. Oh, yeah, of course. Let's all be positive. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're deluded, bruv. You're all, you're all gone, bruv. Everyone's gone. Big up to CFC Marky Boys. This part of me doesn't want to win. Imogen Clown Lake smirking with Slosh Pot and the Bowley sexuals on their laps saying, we love you, Bowley. Get them out. Listen, they get what they deserve, bruv. They get, they get what they deserve. But listen, we always... The thing is, right, I want Chelsea to win. If Chelsea are winning and Chelsea are competing... And we were we were showing progression and patterns of play. I don't know what patterns of play we've got. I don't know what identity. I don't know what call us when we watch us. I don't know nothing at Chelsea. It's just, you know, it's trust the come shot. That's what it is. This process is trust the come shot. The players is trust the come shot. And they can't even aim right. You know what I'm saying? And it's going everywhere. Um, but I always want to win. Every game I go into, I want to win. I expect us to win today, man. What are we doing here? Uh, big up, uh, Adam, he says, big up, John. Even though I was a Minnows hate, I always knew the blue coat consortium was bad news. Um, Tifo made a video in 2022 talking about Bowley wanting to generate more income as a high priority. Of course they do, bruv. And they send it to the Cayman Islands, man. You know what I'm saying? These lot think that they're, um, what's his name? Oh, I need to learn this one. I need to learn this one. Oh, what's his name? Khalif. Is it Khalifa? Um, the, the lawyer in Man on Fire. And he went to the Cayman Islands. He's, he's, he's lying in the swimming pool, bruv. Because Denzi, like us, equaliser, Man on Fire, we take it all down, bruv. And we hunt you down. Because you took our precious shells. And we're going to get it back. And we're going to find it. And we're going to be doing the Denzi walk. And everything's going to be blowing up behind. Clown Lake's going to be blowing up, mate. Yeah? So have it right. Uh, big up to Ed who sucks toes. He says, congrats on 40 points with the draw today. So, you know what I'm saying? They're loving it. Apparently, Man United are worse than Chelsea. That's what they told us. They're worse than Chelsea. Really? Are they? Yeah. I know Burnley are worse than Chelsea, and they drew at the bridge today. <sighs> Beyond a joke. It's like says, bet Mason Mount scores his first for United today. If he does, um, you know what? I'm mudding everyone. I'm mudding them all. Because that'll take them further up the table. He's been out for the basically the whole of season. He come back against the uh against uh, Liverpool and, and comes on, makes a difference, and they win the game in a monumental FA Cup tie. What are we doing? We're bottling it to the Veneer Merchant C team with kids in, in the team that no one's ever heard of. Uh, Mafio says Arsenal are coming back for Mudrick 100%. Mate, he'll probably do well. <clears throat> you play him down the middle, you get some minerals out of him. He did look all right. But I'm sorry, these kids can't take it. They ain't got the mentality. They can't take what's going on around the club. The club's a circus, hence the, the term Clown Lake. I've been saying Clown Lake for like 10 months ago. Clown Lake. Mate, anyone can go on my streams, mate, and you will see everything landed. I've told you all what's happening. And now here we are. So now I'm going to sit back. I'm going to watch the Strasbourg Ultras land it. That's exactly what I'm going to do right now. They're going to protest. They're going to do a monumental, extravagant, epic protest to get these clowns out of the club. And these clowns are going to try and ignore it. But then the Chelsea are going to come along. And then you can't ignore that. Because that's your beachhead, that's your streamline, and we chose to go with the Maldi Club beachhead straight away at Chelsea, said Siri Merchant. Well, how's that going for you? He was actually advised not to do that. Well, now you've gone and spent the one billion, and look at the state of us. Look at the state of us. 
Cole Palmer, credit to the kid. That was a wonderful penalty. Um, he tries his hardest. He wants to play. He's playing for himself at this rate. He's, he's levels above everyone. The bottom line is he's, he's carrying us to mid-table, you know. Um, the GA is carrying us to mid-table. He's carrying us nowhere. We're going nowhere because there's not quality around him. There's no experience. There's no generals. There's no le le experience or leaders to fall back on. That's why United are where they are, even though they're in the gutter. They've got the experience, and now they're going to kick on from here. Now they're building a structure behind the scenes with Ratcliffe, building a proper corp, getting the best of the, in the business in every every department, bruv. That's what you do. That's what you do when you've got intentions to run a football club at the highest level. You know what I'm saying? What are we doing here, bruv? Yeah? What are we doing here? So, let me just get something up. Oh, I can't, bruv. This is too much for me. Honestly, this is too much. It's a joke. I'm sure those stickers were flying about. I'm sure those stickers were flying about, mate. Yeah? And I hope all the Chels got a hold of them. Big up to Viper. He says, I don't understand why Chelsea fans celebrate Palmer's GA at this rate with his, this profit model that Clown Lake have. City will bring Palmer back in two years, mark my words. Well, someone's going to pay 80, 90 million for him. You've got Clown Lake already saying they value him at 85 million after buying him in the, in the summer, which was an opportunist buy. It was a last ditch buy because they didn't have a number 10 and he's not even a number 10. Listen, put Cole Palmer out of position like he was actually in the Burnley game in the second half because we brought on Mudueke, who did now, all right, plays under 23s England. The guy does step overs like Grasshopper, scores a worldie, a fluky worldie, all right. This guy comes on, and then Cole Palmer goes missing. Mason Mount out of position gets you 30 GA. And top four. And winning trophies. Don't hear these standards are in the mud, bruv. They can prop it. Listen, I'm not dis discrediting Cole Palmer. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's going to be a top talent. He's the only threat. He's the only one that's got threat. He's the only one that creates anything. He's the only one that can score or create. He's the only one that takes penalties. So it's like you've got to rely on this Man City product. And why is it so good? Because Man City are the best in the world right now. Why can't we have Cole Palmer... Mason Mount and Kai Havertz. Why can't we have that with Kante and a Kovacic and build other players around and buy a striker? Because Nico Jackson, he's too busy dreaming a slosh pot. You know what I'm saying? This guy's sliding all over the gaff. Bambi on ice. I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Honestly, I do not want to hear it. He's playing for his career, Cole Palmer. All right? As is most of these players. Enzo Fernandez. How is Enzo Fernandez and Casado today? Casado got hooked off. Uh, Pochettino came out. If I don't play them, the owners will kill me and the sports will kill me. That was after international break last year. Or was it early this year in January? Now, he's done the same thing again. Thrown him in. Exiled Thiago Silva. We've got no leadership or calmness at the back. And we capitulate against a 10-man Burnley. What a shambles, bro. What a shambles. Petrovic, fair play. But again, he should be a backup goalkeeper. Most of these players don't get into our Champions League winning team. Not even Cole Palmer does. This is how far our standards have fallen. This is how far the fan base is, 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 is falling in, 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 in standards and expectation. I mean, it's just, it's just all over the gaff, bro. It's all over the gaff. We are finished. We're finished. This football club is, is finished, bro. Yeah? This football club's finished until we make a change. Trust the protest. No process. Trust the protest, bruv. Yeah? It's time. Chelsea. Proper Chelsea. All the ultras. Mills FC ultras. It's time to protest. They are not legally contracted. They have a Glazer clause put in legally, legally, to not extract money out in forms of dividends and shares. But they are extracting money out 
by playing the role of chairman of 20 million a year, the highest earner at Chelsea Football Club. They can choose to sell the club if they want. And it's in their best intentions to do that because it ain't getting any healthier for you lot. It ain't getting any healthier. I guarantee it. Listen, we're going to take Clown Lake down like uh, they took Epstein down and they took P. Diddy down, bruv. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're doing on the Minerals FC. Let's have it right. We are doing that. And we've been doing it for over a year, bruv. Yeah? We're well ahead of the game. These loophole merchants ain't got a loophole on us. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we listen. They think they got everything airtight at, at, at Chelsea. Yeah? Well, water always finds a, a way through. And our minerals overflow and these lot are drowning in it they're drowning in it they've got nowhere to go these clowns they've got nowhere to go absolutely nowhere to go bruv listen all i'm saying bruv i've said it on my stream Say it for what it is. CFC Daily, say it for what it is and stick with it and forget all this false hope and land it with your 600k following platform, all right? And say it for what it is. That's it. You ain't bought, so show everyone you're not bought and speak the truth and call out these owners and call out the directors, call out everything and say, get them out. And that's it. And we protest. I ain't got no grudges with you. It's never personal, bruv. And I've even propped you because I know you support in your season ticket holder. It's time to land it, bruv. End of story, bruv. I've got nothing against the geezer. Respect to him. Maybe one day we meet at a bridge, bruv, and we have a bevy. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But right now, I, I, will, I will call out anything or anyone who's not landing it as it should be, bruv. That's it. We're all Chelsea here. Everyone's Chelsea. Everyone wants the best for Chelsea. So. Everyone has got a platform. Everyone has got some sort of power to control narratives because these clowns have been manipulating the narrative using platforms, using these brown envelopes, these 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 tier ones, all the top tier ones that are outright known for having portals where they can be paid to put out narratives. All right. We have to create our narrative and the narrative for the supporters. And that is more powerful because they can't control it now. They can't control it. So everyone has to call it out, bruv. Everyone has to call it out. That's all I'm saying, bruv. We're all Chels. We all want the same thing. So we have to unite together, not divided. Divided, they divide and conquer. That's what they're doing, these, these wrongings at Clown Lake. It's PR masking the truth. Many streams I've done a year ago, I said the PR's masking the truth. We have, to, we have to claim and reclaim our football club back. That is the message on my platform and will always be that. That's it. I respect every Chelsea supporter. Matchgoers, international, whoever you are. But all you melts propping this shit. You're a cancer. You're liars. See, so you're either bought or you're outright gone. All right? And you don't know Chelsea. That's it, bruv. And you're all Bob Marley, don't worry about a thing, merchants. You know what I'm saying? Happy to go lucky. Or you just think we can't do anything, so it is what it is. No, we can. Chelsea support's got all the power. We've got all the power. This is Burnley, bruv. Burnley. Burnley. Relegation battle team. With 10 men. It's worse than any result this season. And it's a draw. It feels like a loss. Listen, let's have it right, yeah? Bob Marley landed it. He was telling some false narratives. Before his deathbed, he announced Christ. He admitted his wrongs and he announced it, bruv. And he's saved. 
you understand me? Everyone's got the chance to save our football club by just admitting it. Just step forward and save what it is, man. That's all you've got to do. It's, it's nothing else. There's nothing else to say, bruv. You know what I'm saying? This brother, especially coming on, mate. You know, I, I just for everyone. Yeah, bruv. It is what it is, man. But I, I just want people to say for what it is, and I'll let the floor's yours at the minute. Let's go. Just land it, bruv. My, my throat's gone. I need some strepsils or something, mate. Um, good result, wasn't it? We uh... are. <laughs> Do you know what? They're making comps of players for this this draw and this result. Mate, so we are. Uh... Daily told me. He said, "Why don't you call them out?" I'm calling them out. They're Twitter virgins. They're, they're football manager virgins. They're XG pool merchants. Do you know what they put out? The uh, the XG and stats were so high for Chelsea today. Yeah, can't finish yeah. off dinner, can we? Yeah. So um, I mean, we uh, what is it? We uh, we made a point ground today on Wolves. So nice, good result. Um. Still in contention for a uh, conference league spot, is it? Oh no, you're Listen, openly. You're openly. No, <laughs> mate. <laughs> All right, jokes aside, I called it bogus league on my channel. I was like, we're trying to qualify for the bogus league because uh, we're not going to qualify for any Europe. Let's be honest. Listen, today was. Uh, I don't have words. I, I said that this club find new ways to find new lows, like. I thought we'd hit the floor and we've just gone into the sewers. Do you know what I mean? And then we are in the sewers and then we've gone properly underground. And now we're probably in some like prehistoric graveyard that existed 2000 years ago. Like it's just uh, constantly getting lower and lower and lower. It's incredible. It's actually incredible. Um, and is it a surprise? No, but today was just ridiculous. I mean, I knew we were bad, right? But that took the piss. So, 10-man Burnley with no manager and we let it go twice and they could have won. They they should have. Well, they hit the bar and all sorts and people are going to say stats. Mate, stats this and stats that. Poch yesterday took the piss when he came out and said um, we should be, according to the data, we should be top four. I mean, is that top four? Today is top four? Yeah? That's top four. Because if that's top four, we should all stop playing football. Just call it a day and just end it here. Yeah. It's just embarrassing. Today was embarrassing. Really, really embarrassing. Um, and what's it going to take now? Because like I've said it, I'm sure you have. Or you, you've been here. I can see you've been here just over an hour. So you probably, uh, you probably grilled every single, every single way there is to grill. Yeah. We've been flipping T-bone steaks on the grill, bruv. Like, it's on a, it's on a, it's on a, a what's it called? A fucking uh, conveyor belt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but overall, it's just, it's clear now what needs to happen. It's either, look, it's either these clowns are going to come out and start publicly, you know, explaining their shit, or they're going to take some sort of action and proper action, and we mean you're going to change the directors, you're going to change the manager, and you're going to get some class in, and that could be the signal to get people on board, or you're not going to give a shit, and we're going to keep going on like this, and people are just probably going to have to take everything to the next level now, because that's where it's heading. We've got May United on Thursday. <laughs> you think, mate, the damage is done today. Damage yeah. is seriously done today. Now we're going to play United on Thursday. Let's see how United play tonight against Brentford, actually. We'll pay attention to that. And on Thursday, when that comes round, God forbid, because um, I wasn't paying attention to the sound when I was doing the watch-along. Um, but I heard that there were massive boos and whatnot. Listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going to yeah. go way beyond that. This is just the tip of the iceberg. This is going to go on. It's just, that's it. Today was a massive catalyst because I think a lot of people had today as a hope of, if we win, we're in good position to at least try and get a European spot or something. Do you know what I mean? And we must throw, game. Must bottled win. it. We yeah. bottled it hard, but not just bottled it because the other teams above us haven't capitalised properly, right? So 
mathematically you look at it and think, oh, you know, it's, it's, it, it could be worse, but the problem's not that. The problem is today's proven we ain't beating anyone. Playing like that, forget it. Like, it's, it's a non-negotiable. Especially you know, the United game, the two games in hand we have are Arsenal and Tottenham, mate. Yeah. It's just... What I said. In the and the is, is, they've got no gaffer in the dugout sent off. They're 10 oh, men man. down. We're at home. They're fighting relegation. They played better football. They had the better chance to win the game yeah. at the yeah. end. Yep, yep, yep. Right? They hit the ball. 10 men. Yep. And you know what's mad? I mean, like... You know what's mad? They were sitting back trying to protect that draw and then they conceded. Then they came out, got the equaliser, right? And then kept on the front foot. It was clear that they'd figured out, you know what? If we come and sit back and allow them the ball, we're more at risk than if we take the ball and actually take it to them, exactly. even with 10 because men, was, because was we can that. get through them. Yeah. The fact that they figured that out with no manager and 10 men is, is I don't know what to say, at the bridge. I... It's the worst. I, I said it's say. the worst. This is the worst result with the amount of time they've had since owning. Yeah, hands money down. spent. Um, it, this is the worst. You don't get worse than this. Yeah, like you don't. losing to Man United, it's almost like expected. All right, mm -hmm. any of these big teams, but to lose to a relegation team with ten men at, on your own turf is is just unforgivable. There's yeah. no excuses. And you got Poch coming out the night before as the mouthpiece going, you know, uh, the, the data and the, the stats tell us we should be in Champions League place. I mean, 100-point team and all. Listen, jo Jose Mourinho said it, Eunice. He said, the ones that yeah. talk with data and stats, they don't stats. they don't understand football. They're not football people, yeah? I look at, with my eye test, listen, mate, on Twitter, I have added, I haven't done this before. It's the first time I've done it. I've added Win Stanley, Stuart Little, uh, Bowley, Clear Lake account. <laughs> the whole lot. Yeah. The whole lot of them get yeah. out. Right. And I've put every account under there that I know has got an influence. And it's up to them to do the same. Because if we don't, we're finished. And I'm talking about the battle on with social media and the PR, the battle against PR. This is a this is a battle against PR and their PR because they got Fabrizio Romano, Pornstein, Athletic, Ben Jacobs. They got everyone pushing out all this. All right, yeah. we need a box back. We need to do Mike Tyson. We we have to be Muhammad Ali. Go twelve rounds with these lot and still yeah. win. You know what I'm saying? And knock them out. We have it's to got to be done. Yeah, it has it's to be done. Be done. This, bro. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. Um. It's, this is this is why I, I, I stress this isn't a one-time thing or there's still I reckon there's still people that are looking at this from a footballing perspective and I'm just honestly trying to be like listen who, this who's isn't... doing that Eunice who huh who's doing no, that you can see no, no one no one in particular I'm not calling out like one person or something but I'm noticing there's there's still you you see analysis that's you know it's well online and it's still um, if it's if it's not Poch it's up oh, because this player missed that or this player done this and that player. Done. And it's just, it's, just, it's beyond football. The reason why the football is like this is because of things above the football. If it wasn't for that, the football wouldn't be this way. You know what I mean? Is I, I, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. We wouldn't have bought these players, right? Because we'd have standards, we'd have levels of quality, world-class, you know, yeah, mixture. Yeah. Like we said it countless times. You, like, I'm, Honestly, it's like, I've gone beyond saying the reasons because they're all there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's like and, and people are gonna people are, people are realizing and they are clocking on and it is growing. It is it's, it's obvious that you can see that bit by bit it's starting to come into fruition as to okay, there's a big issue here. You know, I even heard a couple of the others today um, calling out the fact that we've only spent the entire billion on these young players. And had it been players from last season or some experience, we would find ourselves in a better situation, or at least a, compared to now. And the fact that that's now being mentioned, at least, is testament to how bad the strategy of the club has been. 
why we are in this mess. And like I said before, it's going to take a different time frame for each one and each person to clock on to what is going on. That's normal. That's human nature. But it's getting there. It's getting there. Because it, like I said before, it becomes inevitable. If it comes to a point where it's screaming at you in the face and you can't ignore it any longer. So today was just worst result, worst result of the season without question. Yeah. Um, no surprise. And yeah, the fact that Potts could come out afterwards as well and say that um, I've not seen the actual interview, but I've read what he said. He was pointing to his head and heart and saying that was missing. You know, so he's talking about mentality and heart and all of that. And I'm like, flipping out. Listen, if 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 we're in a situation at the end of the season where that is still being debated in a group of players, then you've not done your job. But then we ask, why has he not done his job? Because he's not the man to be able to instill that sort of thing in the first place. You don't, Eunice, people don't understand. It doesn't matter what gaffer you put there. This is the thing. It, and the only ones that are going to be put there are yes men. That's Jose it. Exactly. won't go near it. Exactly. Because I was saying, exactly. everyone in the football circle, deep within the football circle, and I'm talking all the big heads, all the ones that they all talk to each other, they all sit on a round table with the FA. They all know what these owners are about. They won't go near them. And I, I thought of this. I, I am almost sure that Amanda Stately has been advising a lot, a lot that's going on at the football club. Her in particular. Amanda Stably of Newcastle? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. The PIF group? Yeah. yeah. What? They're Saudi Reverse. money. I'm sure they're Saudi money. Yeah, she's... um. Oh, she, she's part of the PIF... Well, her is it? Is it her husband? Um, is it her husband that's um, like proper PIF as well? But she's she's obviously in that circle. She runs Newcastle with him. I think they've come together. You get, the chat yeah. can correct me on this. Um, I'm not entirely. I'm not 100 percent sure. But yeah, they they are. She, she advised Potter. Part of the... She advised Potter. How do you mean? She advised these clowns get Potter and go with that. Did she? Yep. They don't want to tell you that. Simon Jordan sat there and, they, and, and Jim White said, who's, who's advising? Who's advising? He said, oh, I'm, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. It's clear as day, my geezer. Because look at Newcastle. <laughs> so they the seem to do better, but they're still not that great. No, they're not. They're struggling. Oh, you can understand why, though. But this is the thing. Their model's been different. Yeah. but They've actually gone down... They've gone down a way that you can understand they're going down. Do you, do you know what I mean? They, they haven't gone out and just splashed to just go and get anyone and everyone. They've been selective and they've not actually spent too much. But they've grown slowly and now they're missing pieces. I expect them to probably go in the summer and try and rectify that. But you can see what they're doing. It's not like because us. It's... <laughs> is because, Eunice, the model they're implementing is not collaborative with an elite gaffer and elite players. It's just not... It doesn't work. It doesn't it mix. No. So your, your, your ceiling's like you're in a cave. You know what I'm saying? You can't even, you can't even stand up straight. Your arch, like the hunchback of Notre Dame Wise, who owns yep. 5% of our football club. And the only way is to step out of that, that model, so you can stand up and actually see what you're doing and land it for what it is. They're not going to do that. They can't do it, Eunice. Is what I'm saying. They can't do it. They can't rectify it. Everything they do PR-wise is to buy them more time. Now, another result that you cannot hide away from. Can't hide, man. It's not can't even hide. me. I know how bad we are. I know how bad we are. I had many conversations today before the game. I said, we'll, we'll win this game. I predicted a draw with you. Was it with you guys yesterday? I said, we'll draw the AI derby. I did say that because I thought, knowing how Chelsea are. But really, it was like, no, nah, we'll win. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 
Yeah. And when we get the first goal, I thought, that's it, we're going to land it. Then they went down to 10 men. I thought, mate, we're, we're easily going to win 2-3-0. Oh. Yep. Yeah. And look at us, man. Look at the state of this. Yeah. The 1-1 one, one caught me off guard, right? And that's where I was, I was screaming for like an answer. Like, Chelsea, you've got to give an answer quick. Because if not, this, this is going to be seriously unacceptable. And it took longer than I thought, right? 75, 76 or something yeah. like that. Palmer scored. I was saying, if we don't get one by 65, we're not serious. We're not a serious team. And 75 or so, we get that goal. I'm like, all right, well, it was later, but we got the answer. Cool. Mate, two minutes. Two minutes. And they they they, they put it in in the way that they do, set piece, to, to, to concede a lead against a 10-man, managerless, 19th place, Burnley, at home, who also use AI Scout, who are the youngest team in the Premier League, ahead of us, because we're second. Craig Bellamy mentioned that at the end. And we can't keep a lead twice. Mate, it doesn't get lower than that. Actually, the only way it gets lower than that is if Sheffield United came and done the same thing. <laughs> That's the only way it gets lower. But it's, it's embarrassing. Like, the way that it is... This just cements any sort of false, fake positive expectation that anyone had that Chelsea would bounce up in the table and start doing things properly. This is not a fight that completely... Like Eunice, I'll be real, yeah. Completely. Even if I didn't know about the model when I knew, all right? And I was told about the model, all right? Hmm. Now, yeah. you could be told about a model. But it doesn't mean, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say how it's going to be. Right? Let's say I didn't know the model. But you can see it unraveling anyway. The yeah. signings you make, the choice of managers, the choice of directors. The football, just what's on the pitch, yep. doesn't lie. No, no. So it's Mate. like, how yeah. can you come to the conclusion that we're going to be a force in two years. We're going to get Champions League football. How? Mate, you, you've just explained my situation. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, because I knew more intel. You, 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 you knew a, yeah, much more in advance. Mate, right. these signings came in. I was gassed. I was like, mate, 100 mil here, 100 mil here. You know, we wanted Enzo. Oh, yeah, we finally got a deadline day. Well. Plus, 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 cool. Yeah. Caicedo, uh, we've we've beaten Liverpool to him. Fantastic, cool, nice, fantastic. Uh, we got on Palmer in, nice, all right. And you see all of that at face value from the get go, and it's excitement, right? Dopamine hit constant, like it's just hit after hit, like a bunch of addicts. That's the football fan, right? And I put myself in that in that bracket because that's how I reacted at the time. Um, but you can't lie, you can't delude yourself. With time, that was, the, that was at the very start of the season, right? Before the start of the season. You, with, with time, you start piecing things together. You start to see game by game by game by game, something's not right. What's going on? Game by game again, and then you find out one little thing here, one little thing here. This doesn't make sense. Why is this the case? What's happening here? How come we've decided that? Why is it like this? Bit by bit. And then you, you can't deny what's in front of you, like you've just said. That's exactly where I got to. I got to a point where I'm like, this is this is not what I was expecting from the get-go. And it's now starting to look seriously worrying because we're not rectifying the clear mistakes that I can now see and many others can see. We're plowing through. <laughs> and... Bit by bit, you end up getting to where we are now or where we have been for the last, you know, couple of months or so where I've lost all faith. And then you realize there's lack of experience, all kids, no strategy, um, the true intention. The true intention is what comes after you start to piece all the pieces together. Two plus two plus two plus two equals eight, right? And not 12. And you're like, okay, well, okay, now I'm starting to get concerned about the intention. What's the actual strategy here? And then you start digging in more. 
Here we are. Now we're, they, well, now we're debating about the fact that the owners are, are in it for one thing only. The strategy um, is to help that get across the line. They're only in it for the money. The directors ain't got a clue. We've got a bunch of yes men, players that aren't ready, and a bottle job manager. Facts. <laughs> so, see, so what we what are they making comps of these players for? Have they got no shame or stance? Obviously, they don't. This is this is this is the supporters now that they're that they're trying to get on board the the owners. Mate. They want all that. Uh, who, who's made the comp? I don't know. Uh, uh, Daily. Oh, so it's just. Yeah. I'll it's take it one step further. Um, about 45, 50 minutes ago, Chelsea actually put up a picture of Cold Palmer and trying to big up Cold Palmer. After joining that game. At the end of the After day, that, day. and to be fair, everyone's in the comments going, "Are you lot for real? Like, yeah. can you read the room?" Well, the admin's gone, mate. Yeah, I mean, they don't care. This is again. This is, and I, I replied to it, and I was like, "You see, things like this is why there's a growing disconnect, and why fans don't feel any sort of connection with you lot because of BS like this. Like, what are you lot doing?" It, it, do you know it's so embarrassing? Do you know what that admin fella or or or, or late or la lady? Do you know what I mean? Whoever it is, yeah. all right, they will never have revealed themselves, bruv. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, of course not. No, no, no. no. no in fact, there's, a, there's probably an entire content team over there. Mate, yeah. They were playing three little birds before the game, man. Were they? Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Well, all of a sudden, that's just uh to come part of the culture. Because that's where I go. Them. Oh, look at the Chelsea supporters singing at, was it Brentford? Oh, they're singing uh, Three Little Birds. Palace. Palace. Palace, Palace yeah. sorry. They're yeah. singing Three Little Birds. Yeah, they like that. So let's give them that. That's how they think. They ain't got a clue, mate. Mate, they, do you know, it, it reminds me of, um, it reminds me of Sunderland Till I Die. Have you seen Sunderland Till I Die? No, I haven't. I haven't seen it. No, it, it was a few years ago, but it was the first like proper football inside the documentary, right? Of what's going on like in ownership and all of that. And they came in, these owners came in, young owners thinking they knew it all. It didn't last. But they wanted to change their, like the, the old school Sunderland song pre-game to like some proper 90s trance techno. And... um in fact, I think it was like the rude sandstorm or something that they decided to start blasting. The comments will remember if you lot have actually seen um, Sunderland Till I Die. But when they when they don't know the fan base, they don't know who they're dealing with. They pull off BS like this, and this is this is exactly the same. To think that playing Three Little Birds is going to make everything okay, like the song says. No, nah, leave that with uh, leave that with with Uncle Bob, R.I.P. Bob. <laughs> but. Don't don't try and bring that into users PR. This is the problem. It's just full of it's full of BS PR. Yeah, but people are buying it still. And, that's, that's, and that's... this is why I call out all the big accounts, right? Because they're the ones that can fight against it with us. Do you understand me? Yeah. That's it. Like they're too they're too worried about their own personal gain and benefits, majority of these people, bruv. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's the reality. So it's like, that's why I won't work with anyone. I don't bother. I only work with real ones. That's it. I ain't bothering. I, I'm not interested. Like, no, it's true. Is this, Eunice, yeah? We have to stop that game at Man United. We have to do it. Yeah. Strasbourg are protesting tomorrow. We have to follow. Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's see what happens tomorrow as well. Um, so pay attention to that. Will you be able to get any footage, Eunice? Do you think we'll get footage of it? We need footage. We need. It's oh, it'll be footage. online. No, no, the, the Strasbourg lot are active. You'll you'll see videos coming out of there like crazy. If it's a big protest, like it's being deemed the, like it is, may that mean there'll be videos all over the place. It won't be an issue. I want them out, Eunice. I want them out. There's no there's no fixing this. They don't want to change the model. They don't they want to change yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't want to. And you know, <laughs> you seen the Zark and Sellers thing before game? Yeah, Pre game. Uh, which one? Because he's got so the many. FAB. The FAB. No. All right. So Nizar tried to go to the FAB agenda meeting that was meant to happen before the game today right. to see what the FAB is about because I think he wanted to, you know, try and find out what's going on with this whole FAB stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They cancelled. They cancelled because that space that they were using was 
going to be used for some hospitality shit for the game. So that got cancelled. Whereas, can I add, the CST had their agenda meeting scheduled for 6.30 p.m. today, which I think is, uh, well, they might, have just, they might have just finished or they might have um, well, rounded just, it up just by now. Just the support's trust. Just yeah, CST. Trust. Yeah, 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 yeah. They had their meeting, all went ahead, and no problems. It just goes to show who, who's actually caring, who's actually making initiative. The FAB were meant to have a proper meeting today and they cancelled because they needed to use the space for hospitality. What? Yeah, because it's all about pound note. That's it. So. What, uh, I don't know if they're at the game, these clowns. Were they there? God knows. I don't God think knows. they were. Or if they were, they weren't out in public. No, because we've not heard or seen a thing about them at the bridge today. So, no. yeah. So, um, remember, I do, Johnny. It's not you, Potter. It's the players. Yeah. Yeah. How'd that go down? <sighs> Mate, yeah, this is... This is I what I'm saying. The players never. I didn't say it's players. Hey, at the end of the day, they've been they've been you know they've taken an opportunity to join what they deemed a big club. Fair enough. They've and... taken every supporter majority for a fucking ride, mate. Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. They've been done like you wouldn't believe, man. Trains been run on them like twenty four seven, man. Like yeah. now, look at them, like. It... <laughs> Listen, I always say it, if you don't land it for what it is, and you don't say it for what it is right now, because it's too late. Chelsea Sports Trust are ready, mate. We're ready to go. I'm telling you, yep. we're ready to go. Strasbourg tomorrow is, is the time. This is the yep. time. It's now or never. It is literally the, that, Eunice. It's now the two, or never. It's, it's protest. The, go ahead. Let's go. The two have to align. The two have to align. If, if, the, first, if the first Strasbourg protest, which is tomorrow goes hand in hand with a Chelsea protest near enough the same time, same week, same, you know, part of the season, that will be powerful because at that point, they're not dealing with one animal, they're dealing with two. Shout out Stevie G, mate. Proper Chelsea, yeah? Going to be with the Strasbourg Ultras, bruv. Come on. Oh, Keep quality. Working. Let's go. go. On, Steve. Hey? Get all the footage you can as well, Steve. That'll Get be a... Uh, footage, but... Yeah. You know, you know what to do. You know what to do. Yeah. Simple as that, man. Like we need to team up with him, and that's it. That's the. Uh, we both want the same result. End result. We 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 both want the same things. So let's do. Let's set it up how it should be set up. That's it. It'd be nice if at the end of all of this, you know, we end up free from these lot, both of us, and then we host Strasbourg over for a friendly, and we can have a nice little, uh, you know, knees up. <laughs> do, you, do you know? Do you know what Eunice was? I, I, I met with my mate last night. I, he's done this lovely stuff here. Let me let me let me display it for you. Um, it was absolutely delightful, man. Um, but set it up for me, <clears throat> and um, as you can see, we got. We'll do it that way, in it. I think it's that way. Oh, thank yeah. you. We, we got the ten k here. So I'll try and I'll try and hold it up. It's a bit difficult, bruv. But 10k, yeah. 10k right. minerals landed, yeah. Woo! Um and um I was we he put on a stream. I said, I don't want to watch anything I've done. Put on a stream, and it was an old stream when we were last year, and it was all football talk. Yeah, and I, I, I said, I said, I can't even talk about this no more. I can't remember the last time I spoke about football. Yeah, about like the actual game, the actual game <laughs> tactics, yeah. ball knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gone. I miss it. Mate, mate. When they leave, Listen. Eunice, right? Yeah. When they leave, right, and we get them out. This is going to be the biggest stream on my platform ever. It's going to be a celebration, bruv. All right? Oh, mate. It's going to be... It'd be relieved. I'll be relieved, bruv. Yeah? Get full on party. I, um, I, I struggle now. Like, and I always try to still bring a level of football talk because, you know, 
it's football. <laughs> like they, I, I want to at least entertain that, but to not ignore the bigger picture when talking about Chelsea, if we're talking about anyone else, not a problem, it's all football. But we can't ignore the bigger picture here. This is why I stress, this isn't like the situations in the past. The situations in the past under Roman were strictly footballing issues. Yeah. We're able to call out managers, able to call out players. This manager's got to go. Sweet. One, two, three games later, he's out the door. Nice one. Who's next? And then we just, you know, keep doing what we're doing. And you can you can still focus on the football. This is the first time I'm ever experiencing where we've got to put football on the side. And this is what people Lisa, I can't, need to realise. What's it talk about this game? Let's be real. No, like, exactly. Yeah, there's nothing to discuss. What, what, what's it to discuss apart from the main fundamentals? And that's it. I mean, what tactics are you going to... What are you going to bring out about football terms? It's, got, it's beyond that. It's, it's, it's way beyond that. It's way like, beyond that. And even today, today was a clear example as to why it's all gone beyond that. Because yeah. we started off with a certain team, right? We changed things as well. Well, we had circumstances. They went down to 10. We scored. We conceded. We changed things. We even went to the extent of going ultra-attacking, 2-1-7, basically, sort of a formation going on, with the shift in personnel, with a Sterling coming on to try and save the situation, with all of this happening, and we still bottled it in the same, in the same fashion. So on a footballing front, the, the, only, the only thing is that Thiago Silva didn't play. That's it. Apart from that, everyone else basically had a go to try and salvage the situation. Madueke came on for the people that were saying, play Madueke. Gallagher came off for the ones that were saying, take off Gallagher. It didn't change a thing in terms of anyone that was on the pitch. We still got the same outcome, same results, same going on. We missed the same sort of chances. We were still hitting it at the goalkeeper every single shot. Like we don't know how to shoot. It's always at the keeper, straight to the keeper, straight to the keeper, straight to the keeper. Poch has come out with the same excuses. It's the same. It's just the same. It's the same nonsense. So it's gone beyond that. We see this for the last two years where it's just been this sort of stuff on a football level. You've got to look at what the next level is. If you're just staying within that circle. Yeah. You're, you're missing the bigger mm. picture. And, so, and the funny thing is, I always said, it's not even funny, it's facts. I always said the brand evidence will run out. In other words, the PR will run out. You won't be able to force his PR no more because no. you've got no more time. No one's going to buy into it. And that's a great point, uh, God of Frogs. The moment, why did we take Gallagher off? I know he had a stinker, but we took him off and then we looked even yeah. worse in midfield, believe it or not, even though he didn't have a good performance. Yeah, we he got was run. Today. But yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, here's the thing. So, what was I say about what we got? Little, like, <laughs> oh, things are mess. I mean, look, the fact, look, the fact on top of that, the fact that we actually ended up playing Enzo for 90 minutes shocked me. Like I said, he'd come back late. He'd had one training session. He had a 14-hour flight or whatever it was. One session, he's playing 90 minutes. And we got to play United on Thursday. And Mate. Gusto's, and Gusto's injured. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. Mate, it's, no right it's messed up. It's messed up. Mate, we're finished. Honestly. I knew we were finished. For, I said at the start of the season, all right, and it, I need to find the clips. I ain't got time for all this, but I've, I know what I said, right? I said, it will only be a matter of time for Pochettino becomes the full guy, all right? And and anyone will get blamed except these clowns. Yeah, It will only be a matter of time before the realisation that we're not winning any trophies and we ain't getting Champions League football or European football, and we will finish mid-table again. And I said all these things, 100%. even yeah. though knowing we signed these players. And I was excited. Yeah, we signed Enzo. We got Casado, who I wanted. I did. I do rate him. Do you know what I mean? In football terms. But the reality is, I was waiting for the experience to come with that. And there was no experience. Yeah, exactly. Andrew exactly. sold our young experience and world-class Kante and, and Covers. Experience. Like, it's just criminal, yeah. bruv. It's just suicidal. All at the same so, time. Yeah. All at the same time. Quick like Which that. is why... Yeah, which is why, exactly, exactly the situation we're in. And going forward, this is where, look, for the ones that reckon change pot, it's all going to be okay, they're going to figure it out when we do actually get a new manager in, if we get a new manager in, and it's the same nonsense, and we end up in this same conversation, not even the same conversation, it'll be a worse conversation, because we'll be a third year in the same mess where we really finish at that point. Like, at that point, it's done. I'll, at that point, it's game over. The herpes fraudulent Wolverine comes to Chelsea. Failure. 
Yeah, of goes to Liverpool, he'll do a better job because he'll be allowed to do his job. Oh, 100%. Like any yeah, 100%. other gaffer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have to protest. It's as simple as that, bro. Yeah. I, 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 what do we say anymore, Eunice? What do, what do we... Like, are people going to land it, Eunice? I mean, if they don't... Uh, listen, I've got no respect for anyone don't land it anyway. Like, no, you know what? One thing, I, one thing I've noticed immediately is uh, going back to that PR point. It's nice that a lot of people now are clocking on and saying that okay, look, this whole PR stunt that you're pulling needs to stop immediately. Like, stop taking us for mugs, right? And they're not doing that. They're still going. <laughs> they're still going. It's. It's criminal, the fact that they think they're going to get away with that sort of madness. But the same thing that we were mentioning about how that's not going to last, that's already started. Like yeah. now, I honestly believe yeah. people have seen through the whole PR angle. Yeah. And no matter what they try and throw, an example is just the Cole Palmer pick that they tried to put out today. That's a clear example. And that came from within. They didn't need a journalist or something. That's on the Chelsea socials. People yeah. are immediately pissed off about that. You've not yeah. read the room. Can you not see what's going on here? Can you not? They make, this is what I'm saying. They keep digging little holes for themselves, bit by bit. It's going to end up worse for them. Like, face the situation, head on, stop hiding, and we might get somewhere. You keep doing this, it's going to get worse for you. Simple as that. And today's result, I think, has taken it one step too far. Like, today's result is where I think, for a lot of people, things have clicked. And going into the United game, I don't know what's going to happen, I'll be honest. Booze and swearing at like the bench today was good, but not enough numbers. Uh, but it's gonna get, it's gonna get a bit more. Very toxic bit more. now. It is more. toxic. Yeah, yeah. It's toxic. Yeah. But it's gonna be after today. Gonna, yeah. Yeah. And all the Chelsea are gonna be looking at what Strasbourg are doing. They're not. They're not going over the top. Of what they're doing. They have got absolutely every right to do what they're doing. Yeah. Right. And so have we as a fan base. Yeah. Yeah. And we need we need to we need to really push forward now because if we don't accept it, we're done. We're not competing for nothing. And it makes me sick, Eunice, that we're seeing other players at other clubs from our club above us. Just it just tells you everything about where we are and yep. what, what what we are now. And yep. the fact that they put that tweet out with Cole Palmer today shows you they don't care. Yeah. They'll do anything to just yeah, exactly. steal your, your exactly. mindset away from yeah. the reality. The, the, no, you've nailed it. They'll literally do anything yeah. to try and change the public perception. Yeah. It's all got to be they're, Cole Palmer, Cole Palmer, Cole Palmer. They're ill. You know, look they're what we've Ill. done. This is the project, guys. Look, look what, what a gem we bought. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you know what one reaction which we've mentioned – a few times um, that was a lot more common after today's game. There's a lot more people coming around to the fact that when Cole Palmer has an offer from someone else, he's out of it. Because Cole Palmer spoke today after the game, and I've got to be honest, he nailed it. He nailed it. From a player perspective, what a player can say, he nailed it. Yeah. It wasn't good enough. It's unacceptable. We can't be playing that way. We 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 we, we thought it was. Um, he said something along the lines of complacent. We took it. We took it too easy. Or yeah, we got complacent or things like that. Um, he said everything that you'd expect someone to come out and take responsibility to say. He said that. Fair play. You best believe when a club comes in for him and we're not playing anywhere near Europe, he's out of it. So what do we do then? Enzo will be gone. Um, be Gusto's gone. going to be sold. He's now injured now anyway, but uh, yeah. he'll be sold. Um, Thiago Silva's gone. Um, I won't be surprised if Mudrick goes. Um, I don't rate Madueke. I don't rate Jackson. Um, I don't rate Badashile now. I don't rate Disarsi. Uh, I don't rate Sanchez. Um, I, I've gone off Cucurella, really, honestly. Yeah. I just, you know. Um, who else is in there? Enzo, what's he doing? Like, what's he done? 
doesn't control. Do you know what disgusted me, Eunice? Yeah. Gallagher takes the armband off, gives yeah. it to Madueke, and Madueke throws it. He threw it on the floor. Did he give it to Madueke? Yeah, so no. So Gallagher, when he got substituted, gave the armband to Madueke. Oh, to the pass on to Enzo. And he just threw it, bruv. All right? Enzo puts it on. How is Enzo captain in our team? Why is Madueke just throwing it like that? This is the, the, the fact. Look, the fact is, even with Enzo being captain, even with Enzo being captain, realistically, there's no one else that can actually take it. <laughs> That's the situation we're in. There ain't no one. There ain't no one that can take it. I'll probably give it a Petrovic at this rate. He lands more minnows and yeah, 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 probably. Screams his yeah. vocal. Yeah. And what about um, light bulb head company, bruv? I mean, he was lighting Burnley up at half time, clearly. On, on telephone call because I'll tell you what this guy was screaming in the in the in the dugout screaming yeah he was fuming why is, why I, is I, not doing it I saw Potts do it once right because I, I, I saw I saw company go crazy and Potts then appeared next to him and he was just like you know and I'm like what the fuck is that like what? <laughs> he's like look at company next to you going off on one um and then they showed Potts again, and he was directly at one player, and I don't know who it was, but he was livid. And I'm like, finally, right? Something. But that's all we got. Does it amount to anything? No. Um, and the whole argument of being not, not being ultra-aggressive, especially with young players, personally, I don't buy into it. I don't buy. I understand that the, the new generation like an arm around the shoulder and all that, but I'm sorry. At this level, there's some hard truths that you need to learn the hard way. And if you don't learn it that way, you ain't gonna really learn the full extent. Do you know what I mean? And you'll be thanking whoever done that to you later on down the line when you're hitting levels, and you know that if it wasn't for that, you wouldn't be where you are. That's yeah. necessary, and we're ignoring that because we want to tiptoe and treat players like wrap them up in cotton wool and you know, go down the emotions and feelings sort of way. And I'm just like, that's not, there's an element of that, yes, at times, but that's not the full way. So I honestly think with young players, there's actually more reason for you to sometimes be losing your crap because if not, how are they going to learn, especially in this environment with no players to look up to? They, the environment right now is toxic. It's high pressure. It's, it's very tense right now. It's it's anxious. It's, it's, it's delicate. You know what I'm saying? These players are not mentally prepared for this for this pressure, this stature of football club. They should be in the under twenty threes majority of these players, right? Yep. yep. Um, they've got no leadership. The gaffers NDA'd up, NDA'd up to his eyeballs, um, stitched up. Let's have it right like he's in a horror movie, bruv. Um, he won't say anything. He can't say anything. Everything like that comes out is PR to make everyone hate upon him. All right. To yeah. mask the reality that he's not it, where he's saying that because he has to say it because he's NDA'd and he's he's contracted to say whatever they want him to say and force his trust the process. When in reality he knows football and he knows this process ain't going to go nowhere anytime fast. Same we will hopefully win the league. It might not be our team here. I mean, it's just like it's just it, it, it's 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 a shamble. So he's defeated. He's not going to say anything. Because he doesn't want to get, he doesn't want to break the NDA and then not get paid out. I'll get paid. Spursy yeah. anyway. But it was something he said, Eunice. Um, yesterday. No, today. Oh. Because yesterday not, he said, um, "I we I, we know the reasons why we have loads of injuries." Oh, look, this is but it. I'm not going to explain. No, not that. It was at the end of today after the game. He says it's not to blame the players. It's to blame. Everyone. Yeah. So he's I read basically the saying the owners, the structure, everyone. blame everyone, yeah. directors. Yeah. It's yeah. not the players. The players are put here. They've been fought, they've been sold a, a false a false dream uh, of this project yeah. with great wages. That's what it is. Yeah. And I don't blame the players. 
No, you know? I don't. Who's going to turn it down? Can... They've made it. They've hit the big time. They're playing for Chelsea. You know? Yeah, they can only bring what they can bring, what they have. What That's can it. Poch get out of these players? In yeah. reality, are they that good? They're not Brighton. They're not Burnley level at this rate. We're a relegation mid-table team. Exactly. That's what we are. Yeah. I'm drained, man. I'm so... Like, I'm numb. Honestly, I'm numb. It's dead man fingers all over. It is. You know what I'm saying? It is. I'm the same. I feel, yeah, dead inside. Dead inside at this point. Um, like, much yeah. like many people. Most people. Most people feel that way. We have, we have, to, we have to let it out of a protest. Um, big up Rebel Rising. It says, I hope I get blocked by this toxic the, these toxic PR merchants. All this egg barley meat riders making me so aggressive, Johnny. Get this cancer lake out of our club, up the minerals FC. It's true though. Toxic positivity. Like anyone who's doing oh. it, you stand out and you look an absolute wrong and you look yeah. bull. That's what you are. Uh, big up the Nathaniel uh, Wilma. He says the club we love is getting ripped in front of our in front of our eyes. Us and and some people are allowing this. Protests are needed. We'll be there on the front line to get our club back. These parasites have ruined this club. And it's not wrong, is it? No. Uh, everyone gets it. Pista Eros, big up to you, Mikey. He says, Johnny Eunice, get in touch with Chelsea Supporters Trust, other fan groups to organise a real protest. Nothing to wait for. Protests need to start ASAP, up the Chelsea, up the Minnows FC. That's already in the pipeline now. It's already it's in the pipeline. pipeline. Yes, it's there. Especially what? after today. Yeah, That's what you, I'm saying. Yeah. You think they're having a meeting uh, after the game for just to have a, a tea and a biscuit and and go, yeah, guys, to see how it goes uh, against United. Nah, no. especially knowing what Strasbourg got ready and lined up. Yeah. Big up, Steve says Intel. If you want scoops on what's going on, you should attend Chelsea women's games. There's loads of ex-players are easy to chat to. I'm at Arsenal tomorrow the Emma's Warriors in Cup. I mean, Emma Hayes is landing more minerals than these these owners will Mate, do in their entire on lifetime. See, he's on one. Quadruple on that. Good luck to Yeah. Him. Hope they do it. Yeah. They will. They will do it. They will land it. Can you imagine? What a way to leave the club and say, see you later, Win Stanley and Stuart Little and Clown Lake. I ain't your little yes woman. You know what I'm saying? She's a gaffer, mate. She told me F off. And that's exactly right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, where do we go now, Eunice? Where 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 do we go now? Uh, 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 obvious protest, but I'm saying, like, we can't not. We have to stream constant. We have to um, call out all the all the all the BS on 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 the PR side because let's let's have it right. Tomorrow, God knows what they're going to bring out to try and mask Strasbourg protest. Mm -hmm. They're going to bring something on Roman or FFP or I don't know what it is. You know what they do? It's their tactic, mate. It's it's very it's very easy to counter that tomorrow because tomorrow, technically, we've not really got to do a thing. We can easily pluck out the footage from that protest and react. This is what happened at Strasbourg today. Look at this. Unbelievable scenes. <laughs> you know, okay. that's it. That's it. That will be the video. That'll be the video that's going out tomorrow. It's already done. So um, they can throw whatever PR they want. And look, whatever they decide to throw out, just counter it and acknowledge it and go, oh, so you've thrown this today as PR, have you? All right. Well, let me throw our PR and let's uh, see what's happened. Let's go live to Strasbourg <laughs> and just show what's happened at Strasbourg. So, uh, Simple as that. Simple as that. Now, listen, this is what I'm saying. Before, it was a case of when articles come out, journals are speaking, you would find some people that are a little skeptical and some people that will take it on board. And then personally, I remember I used to be able to look at what would come out and I'd react to it and I'd be like, oh, well, does this mean this or does this mean that? Or now, like I'm saying, most people have sussed it. Yeah. Most people have sus that it's PR. It's pure PR. So whatever rubbish you're going to hear tomorrow about a possible transfer or we've got cash or, um, you know, we're linked with this new player or whatever it is, PR. 
Yeah. PR. PR. It's PR. Well, and it's, most it's, people it's, know. It's, yeah, it's a battle against PR. It's, it's like the truth tellers, the minerals landers, all the ultras, um, proper shelf's got to land it, all the platforms got to land it and fight against the PR happy meals that are getting served up any moment of the day or night. It's, 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 I mean, last night was shocking you. I messaged you anyway, innit? Yeah. You, remember? you know what I'm saying? Mad. I mean, before a game at 11 o'clock at night to midnight, I mean, what is going on here, bruv? And to be fair, to be fair, um, that wasn't even like an article that's given news, you know, where it's orchestrated. This was just directly quoting what Potts was talking about. And that was bad enough, you know, but that yeah. came from the manager's mouth. So that's a PR coming from Potch himself. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And it's just, I, I'm like, how I can't understand in Potch's situation, how he can find it. Okay. To just keep plowing through and just pretend everything is all right. I, I don't know. I understand there's an NDA, there's uh, a salary, and you know all of that, but I, I couldn't do it personally. I couldn't do it. I would make sure I have lawyers ready and all sorts to be able to get what I deserve. But I'm gonna try and strategically piece things together so people can understand what's going on. Even if I can't say it directly, I'd be saying things so indirectly it'd be crazy. He's not doing that. He's propping it all. Yeah, it's mental. It's mental. A uh, shout out, Dusty Rose. He says the only pro uh, the only process I trust is the process of Johnny getting to 100k. That's it. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 100%. Shout out Roman Baric. Shout out Roman Baric. Um, I was going to say something um, and I, I've lost my I lost my head now. I, I, honestly, I'm, I'm fried, mate. I, I'm fried. Yeah. It's sad. It, was, it's, it is. You know what rattles me? He's, yeah. he's seeing all these all these rival fans loving it and drinking it in. Yeah. When we say you've embarrassed us, you've embarrassed us. We today we were the blue billion bottle jobs. Today, today you can say blue billion bottle jobs. Compliments of Clown Lake. Let's have it right. Yeah, yeah. It is sad. Overall, it's it's sad that it's got to this point that so fast, so soon, this is the situation we're in. Um, and like I said, the thing is today, people didn't even expect like today to happen. Like we've been, we've been pants, we've been poor, but we all thought that even today, like, nah, surely not. You know, we'll get a result. It's Burnley. <laughs> nah. The AI scout derby, in fact, ended... I tweeted this earlier. AI, AI Scout FC2 and 10 men managerless AI Scout FC2. So. I should put that in a title. AI Derby ended a draw. Yeah, it was. It was an AI Derby. It was. We used the same, we used the same AI Scouting network. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, big up to Rebel Rises. Did you read what Pies and Mash said about your tweet? I did read it earlier on. I don't want to bring that up again. He, he said nothing until he until he lands it. I'm not interested. There's nothing you can call me out on. I'll call you lot out. Because all you do is copy and paste narratives for these clowns. Yeah? And push it out. All right? Well, the narrative you should be pushing out is pasting your own feelings and thoughts and targeting and calling out the owners. But you ain't going to do that. You won't do it. You do it on your little private account, but you don't do it on your main account. So what's the point? You're waffling. I'm not bold. I'm not this. Oh, what? Because I called you like out. Get on with it, man. Jog on. Cry like Liam Gallagher. Put the kettle on in Porto, mate. Uh, big out of God of Frogs. He says, uh, owners got us out. All those outgoings and incomings. Um, it was meant to be a 10 out of 10 transfer window. Clans, all of them. Hindsight, 0 out of 10 transfer window. Yeah, not wrong. wrong, not it's wrong. wrong. It's bang on the money. Yeah. Uh, be like Don Roman. Let's have it right. Roman Abramovich. Roman Abramovich. Roman Abramovich. Roman Abramovich. Roman Abramovich. Roman Abramovich. 
So it's too sad to see our club like this, guys. This is killing. This is killing me, man. So sad, guys. So sad. He's he's he's, he's heartbreaking. He didn't need to be like this. Didn't have to be. You have to be like this. We gotta fight it, bruv. I, I'm never. I said it, man. I'm not. I'm. I'm on it all day long. And like you said, tomorrow we sit back, we drink in the minerals, and we react to serious minerals being landed by 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 the Strasbourg Ultras. I mean, we need to get in touch with them. Uh, we can get in touch with them, I believe. Um, so we're gonna do that. Yeah, hundred percent. And it's, it has to be done. Um, Eunice, you have to go on every platform that you go on, as you are. Land it. Just oh it. yeah, no, and and look, this is what I'm saying. I expect today, in fact, even um, a lot of the others to really, really start saying what the situation is is like properly, you know, and and to start asking the right questions. Um, past it being just a footballing issue because I feel like it's still, like I said, there's, there's, there's a lot of the others that will focus, you know, intrinsically on on the football and the tactics and the detail. And I feel like now it's a case where you have to step out. You have to step out and look at the overall picture. Um, and I feel like result, results like today is what's going to do that. I think it's inevitable. It's inevitable. Like I said, everyone's got their own time frame. And to an extent, I, res I respect that because everyone can read things the way they want to read it. But it's inevitable. People will start asking the right questions and saying the right things and starting to, you know, really see it for what it is. And they'll have they'll address it. They will address it. I'm 100% I'm sure. 100% sure. This is why I'm saying I can't ignore that for these lot, for the owners and these clowns that think, oh, what they're doing is right. Mate, the walls are closing in. The walls are closing in on you. You don't realize it or you're pretending not to realize it, but the walls are closing in and they're closing in fast. Faster than I expected, I'll be honest. So, walls in their court. I mean, listen, these lot are, are, are throwing um, stones at glass houses, isn't it? Let's have it right. That's what exactly. Doing. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm tired of people that don't want to say it for what it is or go with narratives that are put out on media platforms that they want to get on. You know, it's pathetic, bruv. I'm not interested, man. Yeah. Uh, I, I, this is about our football club. How supporters are accepting this is just ridiculous. Our club's in the gutter. Absolutely in the gutter. Like, uh, uh, how much more can you stress it, Eunice? No, this is the thing. I was, I was about to just mention that. Um, for some people, I genuinely think there's just some people that are just deluded, right? I just Yeah, yeah. They, they, they just see it different, and I don't know how or don't know why. Um, and I think there's also people that just don't want the controversy or they don't want to, you know, really rile themselves up. They prefer to try and find an excuse to remain calm and, and just keep things easy they just want to you know um if we're going to wrap it up in a phrase i think many people are going to understand is just take the like the ultra blue pill just pretend i don't know i just want i just want you know peace of mind and i don't want to bother that, and that's just their nature and i feel like um when things start to really hit the fan and they know they just avoid because they just don't want that energy do you know what i mean but the truth is is the truth you can't deny the reality the, the energy is coming from Chelsea, the owners, the performances, and the results, and so this is where you got. A, this is where you got a choice. You got a. You got either realistically either realize the situation for what it is, or acknowledge that you're not acknowledging the reality for what it is, and know that you're not being genuine to yourself. Pick one. You lie to yourself. You are. They're, no, they're lying to themselves. Right. Yeah. Facts. I never wanted to meet like Bowley and the Clown Lakes. I act. I act wanted that I actually wanted the Ricketts family before I knew they were racist. I'm just wondering in hindsight, would they have um, effed us this bad? 
But personally, um, I didn't want them. I didn't want. I, did, I didn't want them because they. I didn't want them. The, the is it the the club they run in America was. I mean, it's just, just the. Um, I it, was it Toronto. It was. was it Toronto? No, no. Was it was it Chicago? I forgot I'm what sure. it was. But yeah, I, look, they they didn't have a good history. No. On a sporting level. Where these guys were meant to, but the Ricketts didn't, and then the whole racism stuff were came, came to light in terms of their, the Cubs, yeah, Chicago Cubs. Um, they th then yeah, then the whole race stuff came out. Um, the way that I was seeing it at the time, whereas now my perspective has gone tenfold. Right, was I don't want. An American-led consortium. No, nah, I just don't, I don't want it. Any, yeah, I don't want a consortium, right? And that at the time seemed like the worst type you could get. <laughs> so I was like, no, nah, I don't want the ricket. Um, and then obviously the Bow Bowley Clear Lake stuff was being presented so well and was being presented with all these, you know, future aims and objectives and goals and we're going to do this and we're going to do that and it seemed flipping like something out of heaven, right? Um, but deep down, I didn't want a consortium in the first place. And I said, look, you're, it's, it's a big risk to get a consortium in because you've got too many cooks in the kitchen rather than one owner. I want one owner. That's why I was pushing for the Saudi um, media group to come in with their one one leader. Yeah. Uh, uh, and that never got entertained. So, No, they got eliminated from the first, first, they got uh, eliminated. first um, stage. Yeah. Why? I wonder why. I wonder why. Yeah, exactly. Rain Group set us up to, for this. No, no owners ever come into a, in this isn't in the history of football. No owners or consultants come into a football club and done this much damage in history. So soon, so, so soon, so mad. quickly. Yeah, spending that much money as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is um and fair play. I've seen a couple of other um, platforms as well after today's result talking about, you know what, the problem does go back to changing everything so quickly, so soon from the get-go. On the pitch and off the pitch. So with the staff that we changed and the club was being gutted out and we shifted everything left, right, centre, upstairs, downstairs. And the players that we let go of and the players that we brought in and the strategy we took. That's the catalyst. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be in the situation in the first place. That was the whole catalyst. That's where everything went wrong. Yeah. Um, the consortiums killed us. Yeah. Get the right people in charge to run it as it should be. Understand what you're buying before you yeah. spend money. Understand what needs to be done. Understand a working blueprint model to make you money as well and be successful. And at the same time, you can still integrate your multi-club model. But I, I honestly believe these lot are coming to just destroy everything Roman's built, destroy everything. It's a, a, an outright attack. 100%. On they don't want they don't want a taste of Roman left at the club. No. Anyone associated with him, gone. And either way, Eunice, I've said it, they will double their money because Chelsea is worth more than four and a half billion alone as it is right now in the condition yeah. it's in. Right, exactly. They bought it for two and a half billion. Yeah. So it's like they got it at a cheap price. Otherwise, they wouldn't have bought the club. They couldn't afford it. And this Mate, whole facade that they use their own money to buy these signings is waffle, absolute waffle. That waffle. in the contract he says they have to spend one they point have to one point seven billion investment. They have to invest. Yeah, yeah, that was part of the deal. Yeah, they've done that, so they can they've say, yeah, tick, tick, women's exactly. team, tick. Yep. Uh, youth tick stadium we can't tick <laughs> exactly so we might as well sell because the stadium is in the in the contract you have to rebuild the stadium they can't do that now what, what happens now what <laughs> you're still going to get God 20 knows. million a year what it's a shambles honestly units were rotted bruv rotted Mate, rotted it's a this is why I, I stress uh, lately as well. Internally, it's a complete shit show. Internally. 
It's a complete shit show, man. Um, the way that things are being run, managed, the s- structure, departments, communication, it's in tatters. Absolute tatters. We have to strap in now. And we've got to fight this. That's it. And we will. Yeah. Um, and they breach their breach of contract, get them out. Yeah, facts. Breach of contract, get them out. There's a loophole for him to sell. I don't buy it. It's just the Glazer clause that's a, 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 a contractual binding agreement where they just can't extract money out. But who who buys something to not be able to sell it? And if they sell it for profit, they can't get that profit until the 10 years is up. Of course they'll do that. Why would they not do that? Yeah, uh, financially, they'd have to set a, a whole structure on how to get that done because... Well, you think they can't do that? <laughs> they can, they can. It'll, but this is what I'm saying. It'll take it'll take effort and time and, and a whole plan to be able to 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 execute that. But it's definitely possible. It's definitely possible. Yeah. People don't want to go to games, so boycotting's going to happen as well. 100% it's going to happen. Um, but listen, I'm going to wrap it up. Um I don't know what the United score is. Um, oh, before I do, I've got a, a soup minerals here. Oh, James. I'll, I'll have a Chelsea. look. Yeah, have a look while I read this one. It says, uh, oh, James, big up to you, Muggies. I know what you're going to say here. Uh, my seven-year-old asked, can we support another team, Daddy? Uh, CFC are rubbish. Man. I mean, that is just... <sighs> Mate, that's unheard of. You know that's unheard of. Like, what shells, I, man? I, I couldn't. I couldn't imagine as a kid, like myself, saying that. Like, I, I couldn't. I mean, the seven-year-old's not wrong, <laughs> but the fact that it's come to this is just shameful. Look what these clown legs have done to us. Look what they're doing. They're making seven-year-old daughters say, I don't, don't want to, or seven-year-old son, don't want to support Chelsea. Can we support another uh, yeah, team? Because uh, we're rubbish. Daughter, daughter yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah. what we are now. It's like, what the, what's going on, man? Like, this is, this is how irrelevant we are now. That young supporters don't even want to support us no more. We're not Arsenal, we're not Spurs, but. I've just, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got to mention this. Who, um, big up TBB. Tell the kid the data says we're fourth. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, so, so the same data that Potts, um, that Potts saw. Apparently, we're top four. So, yeah, we're a top four team. I've been ready. Top Is it team. killed me to hear that. I set her straight. We are blue till we die. But F me that. I can imagine. To hear yeah. It. yeah. Yeah, of course, bruv. Of course. Yeah. Because it's even seven, like I've not I've I've not got my kids yet. Um, but when I'm sure when I do, it will be a case of as early as possible. Do you know what I mean? So you'd think by seven, you've already had like three four years where you're trying to show your kid or your kids what football is what chelsea is what blue is where this where that the fact that at seven she can come to that consensus is yeah that's not nice it's not nice big out of chelsea empire says my 16 year old said he, uh, he's dejected detached Detached. and the young fella used to wake up early to watch games with me when he was four um, but Jim B's landed the damn minerals there. Jim B's elite, bruv. Um, if you can see that, Eunice, <laughs> Jim B, what a legend, bruv. <laughs> oh, has he reacted? Ultras, man. Not? The minerals FC not? Ultras, wild, relentless. No surrender, land it 24-7. Yeah. And we are we are over 10k guys. Make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. Respect to everyone, man. Respect to everyone. Let's have it right. 
But yeah, I'm I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. United's still nil nil, yeah. Is that nil, nil. yeah? Nil yeah. nil. What's their team? You know? Um, so their team is right. They've made a sub actually. Um two subs. Right. So they started off with Onana, Wambisaka, Dallo, Varan, Lindelof, centre backs, McTominay, uh, Minu, Ganato, Rashford, Bruno, and Hoyland, and taken off, taken off Varan for Maguire. That's going to help them. Oh wow! Um, and took off Ganato for Anthony. <laughs> That's going to help them. <laughs> wow. So we'll see what happens. Shocking. Well, hopefully they draw. Um, or lose, let's have it right, but um, yeah. Um, anything you want to say, Eunice? Um, like, uh, what a shit show! What a shambles! It's embarrassing, the whole thing's a joke. Um, at this point, it's laughable. Um, and look, we'll see what happens tomorrow with Strasbourg. And we'll see what the whole reaction is going to be, especially after the um, smoke dies down a little bit yeah. because you'll start to see more, like, you know, thought-out reaction from, from everyone. Even on the outside, um, you start seeing all sorts, some sort of like ESPN and all those sort of, plat all those sort of platforms and, and places that you'll start seeing proper analysis coming out and we'll see we'll see what the whole reaction is and then there's the united game on thursday which i think now is safe to say everyone's going to be frightened for so yeah <laughs> um we're 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 in we're in the shit basically yeah facts and um listen uh, what we say um is is is, is no sugar coating it's facts bruv uh, i feel better that i've done this stream I hope everyone else that's watched this feels better in some sort of way. But the message is simple. You ain't going to sort it out. So Clown Lake out. Blue Co 22, Midco out. Uh, we're going to be um, protesting over here with the Strasbourg Ultras in support for them. Um, we'll wait to see the epic scenes tomorrow. And we're going to react to that. I'm definitely doing a stream tomorrow, probably in the evening after the City-Arsenal game. Um, and um, I'll tell you what, yeah, um, we ain't stopping this fight. We will continue to fight for our Chels. St yeah. Trust the protest um, and um, keep mudding the PR happy meals. And together in numbers, we're stronger. Big up to everyone. Sub subscribe to the channel, uh, helping us get to 10K. Big up to, to um, everyone. Like, subscribe, comment, all that. Make sure you put comments at the end. But big up to Eunice coming on. Um, made me feel a little bit more calmer um, and because um, I went in, bruv, um, and I don't I don't hold back, you know me. But um, yeah. but respect to Eunice, make sure you do support Eunice um, yeah, in, in, on his channel and help him grow because, we're, you know, we're very grateful that we got Eunice to, to work with us on the Minnows FC um, and, and for a while now to push out what needs to be done to, to save our football club. Um, so, yeah. Like respect to everyone. Um, shout out to, to Emma Hayes and the women's team for tomorrow, and good luck for tomorrow. Um, and um, listen, Chelsea Sports Trust, we've got their backs, and we support them, and we continue. This has been a long stream, two hours twenty minutes. My word, I haven't done a stream like that since I started doing this. Uh, it tells you the severity and the uh, the urgency exactly. to do it. Um, so thanks, Eunice, for your time. Uh, coming no on. problems. Thanks um, for having me, man. And um, listen, uh, big up to everyone in here, as always, guys. Um, shout out Chelsea old boys. We see things they'll never see. Uh, let's not lower the standards. Let's get Meatloaf Bowley out of here. Um, the circus is full well continuing here, but we need to end the circus. We need Clown Lake out. Um, and we stand with Strasbourg, our French cousins. Um, with Strasbourg and the Strasbourg Ultras to get these clowns out of our football club. And we want our Chelsea back. And that is the message, guys. You know what I'm saying? So, um, respect to everyone. You know the deal. As always, up the Chelsea, up the Minnows FC, and we'll see you tomorrow.